just jump right in. I don't. I feel like we've done a recap in some of our other streams, but we already talked about it. You all know where we're at. We gotta go. We gotta go sneak past those fish. Hey, Slate. Time for our first mallow of the day. Got the pleasure of paying school today. Oh, man. Oof. Mallow. Tastes good. We're gonna go back. We still have quite a bit of setup to do. Oh, you know what else I was thinking of? Is I could put the scout with the other bramble seed too. The one in the one on Timber Hearth. I think we should do that at some point too. Now that we know we can launch a scout and then use it on the bramble to like navigate, I think that would maybe be worthwhile. Because we still have the vessel and Feldspar to find, because we know that Feldspar went from Giant's Deep Jellyfish to Bramble afterwards. That's what our that's what our ship's log says. We don't have too much to read here right now. I, I haven't found anything new. I mean, we just started, but if you're curious as to what my ship's log looks like currently, here it is. A uh, big web of stuff and um... We're gonna track stuff down. We're gonna track down the vessel. That's what we're working on right now. Feldspar, Sun Station, that's it. Vessel, we're coming for you! Gosh, I hope so. I hope we can get it. All right, three, two, one, blast off. Just realized the interloper stuff was just off on its own. Yeah, it's kind of just separate, hanging out. Speaking of the interloper, uh, I can't wait to go into the Discord more after we finish this um, game, because I don't want spoilers, but there is a Discord now for people who love hopping from Outer Wild Stream to Outer Wild Stream. It's live. Um, you can put clips and VODs in there and talk about the lore of the game. It's really cool. And it's called The Interloper. That's the name of the Discord. I feel like I should get a command running um, at least, at the very least, for the last Mallow stream. I don't have one ready to go for today. Oop. Well, I'll fly by it for a second. It's fine. Totally fine. There we go. Alright. Let's dive on in. What could possibly go wrong? I'm already scared. And the, fr the frustrating thing is we really don't have any other tasks to like go back and forth with. It's just gonna be fish after fish after fish. All right, we need to go in the door. Everything will reset. There. And then it should be this one that we gotta go throw the thing at. Of course, now I feel like we should just go into the red one, but I'm gonna use our little guide. I like having a guide. Okay. Sneaking here. Yep, we're sneaking. And then this is the one with debris, right? No, not yet. Yeah. There it is. 
Sneak down here. We know what we're doing. We've got a plan. Didn't even need to warm up our flying for the day. We're ready. It's in here, right? Or not far enough yet. Oops, I don't think I'm far enough yet. Well, there's a bramble. It's in this twisty thing right here. There, there it is. This is where we're going. Oh, this isn't the right spot. I was like, why does this look different? Because we have to go to the other spot. This is where the beacon takes us. That's fine. If we find the beacon, then we can get to the, um, the crash spot. Not even the crash spot. What do we call this? The seed. These seeds are wild looking. Okay. Let's see if we can get a good throw in there. Oops. No. We got bumped a little bit. No. Go down. Go down. No. Just a little bit up. There we go. Okay. Oh. First part done. Now there's our red light. How do I get out of here so smoothly these other times? I feel like we've had good luck coming out of there. Get jostled around a little bit. Okay. Let's go to the red light. Okay. This is where... This is it, right? This is the scary part. So let's see what what happens when we go through they're gonna notice us right away so back out Oop, go 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 back out back out and it turned to look at me and now where are we now I'm very disoriented are we completely outside yeah we're outside in space Bren! Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for 11 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badge, your emotes, your ad reviewing. We're very glad to have you. That's preposterous. It is. What the heck? Happy Monday. All right. I think we, I think we tried going for this red one before and we got eaten. So I wonder if we can get them to go into oh, like one of the doors of the bramble seed or whatever and then if we go in a different one in another entrance, oops, they're stuck in another door. But I don't know that it, there's multiple entrances. Like I think every entrance looks the same. It hurt us. It hurt us. I hate this stupid place. Go, go, go. Oh, can I put the bramble between us? I can, for a moment. Oh, see, now it's already right at the entrance. Go backwards, backwards, backwards. <laughs> okay. We're live, but we're back out in space. <sighs> so that didn't work. I'm going to lurk. I'm taking Tara out for a few minutes to meet her sitter. Oh, nice. Hi, Tara. <laughs> I hope you like your sitter. It's always fun meeting a new person. Okay, so now we're back to this. Distress beacon is coming from that one. So we want the red one. We still want the red one. Look how close it is to that white one, though. <sighs> I 
I think what I tried one of the other times, because it was too close to that light, I just went back to the beacon and did it that way again. We could do that. That just does not look like a safe path. And it's really hard to tell how big it is in here. It just seems infinite inside of these seeds. Ooh, this, this fish is too close, too. This should be the one with debris. Vorpal, how's it going? Thanks for the good luck. Yeah, we don't have a vine emoji. That would be nice, huh? For Bramble. Okay, so here's the debris, yeah. And now we want the red one again. Oh, it's so unsettling. Ooh. Don't get bonked by debris, it'll take us out. It's tumbling though. Close enough, yeah, the squid one's pretty good, I guess. All right, let's go towards the red. Now, will this be a different angle or will this be the exact same fish staring us in the face? That I don't know. Cause it's hard to keep track of like which entrances we go in. And I feel like it has something to do with when this shift takes place, right? Like it goes from looking like this. Oh, that was weird. That oh, to looking like this. It's the exact same entrance. The fish is right there. No matter when we go in. What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Stream over. We're done! Is that like a funny easter egg ending? We get kazoo? Is it because we did- we went into the black hole? Cause that was the last thing we did from the stream before this one, right? Quirty, how's it going? Welcome in, Loki. Hello. We got the joke ending. Okay, don't tell me anything yet. Don't tell me anything. Oh, it was somebody's voice in the end of the recording. So, load previous save. Weird. So we went, th we jumped through the black hole in the core. That was like the last thing we did at the end of stream and nothing, nothing happened. And we got a load screen that looked slightly different after I did it, but nothing, you know, we woke up just the same. We didn't get any new dialogue. I talked to Slate, nothing new happened. So I was like, all right, well, now we ruled that out of our list of things to do. And if we jump through that, I just don't understand. Like, I guess it's because we, our memories and everything went somewhere and we regenerated. So now there's two of us. I don't really think that's why, but, but then does that mean I can, I can't reset it? Did I soft lock myself from beating the game another way? Or do I just have to go to the core and take out the the um thing you know what don't answer that let's 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 do an experiment and get a steam achievement okay load previous save amount of speculation about this has been rampant in spoiler chat e welcome in how's it going no safe word no answers yeah i was just gonna say if you're just coming in if you've not been in stream before with us um if i ask a question but i don't say the safe word don't answer a question um Thank you, Maggie. Yep, exactly. I, um, 
what I was going to do, I want to get a Steam achievement, so I was going to test out if it still softlocks us if I do the Steam achievement where we die within the first 60 seconds. <laughs> Just answer questions with sip, yeah. Oh, Guru Ninja, thank you. Yes, absolutely. Welcome in. Um... I think we'll do that anyway, because then we can knock it, knock out that achievement, and it'll tell us like whether it fully reset and cycled through again. That was so funny! What? I was not expecting that at all! Broken glass, you've broken the fabric of space-time. Heck yes, we've accomplished so much today! <laughs> oh my god, physics and stuff, man. <laughs> What? <gasps> so, 60 seconds isn't much time. Can we jump in the fire? We can. Sorry. Sorry, Harthian. <laughs> Did we break it? Is it gonna shatter? We're good. Okay, cool. Just wanted to test it out. We got credits. No, we're gonna keep playing. We got joke credits. We got a hidden ending. Was that the quantum moon and then we blinked? That was so cool. I feel like that's happened before and I didn't notice it, but that time I noticed it. Does that happen every time? Okay, we forgot to eat our mallow. Let's have a mallow and chat here. <laughs> It's an interesting way to start space journeys. It really was. I'm kind of glad we left that from last time as a loose thread. God, that was so weird. So now we got to go. Oh, we still got to go back to Bramble, though, because nothing happened. We just died. Let's try, okay, let's alternate. Let's go put our scout in the other spot and see what happens. Cause I, I'm, Bramble is gonna break me. Uh, did that, did that update our ship's log? I don't think so. It would be by the Ash Twin project if it were to update anything at all. No, okay. I wonder if it's because we died before the supernova? Maybe that has something to do with it as well? <sighs> okay. Three, two, one, blast off. Ruben, welcome in. How's it going? It's good to see you. We had a very interesting excursion already today and we've got lots to do um where is this crater though i don't really remember oh is this it over here i think this is it over here nope this is the quantum grove here there's only so many places we can go. Nope, this is back at home. Dang it, Jen. <laughs> the smoke. Follow the smoke. Now we'll know. Oh, thanks, Ruben. I really like this shirt, too. Yeah, it's a good one. Ooh. Oh, because I'm facing out into space. Duh. Alright, good enough. We've got our suit on, even though we don't really need a suit right now. But it's nice to have our jetpack. Because it goes a lot faster. Wow, right into thorns. Can I get under this? Sure. Hello! Tech tight, right? Yeah. Dark Bramble Seed, it's never, it's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. Think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. 
Best get rid of this mess sooner than ex uh, rather than later. We haven't read this in a while. Okay. We need to find... I feel like we need to find someone to tell what we saw on the quantum moon. Thy lord, welcome in. How's it going? Tombs, how's it going? Welcome in. Thanks for using that Metroid command. The pole is still live. Okay, so here's the little fishy. Oh, it went all the way past it. Well... I kind of wanted it to land. Where is this going? Just to the wall of a seed? Yep. Do we think this will still help us if it didn't land inside? I don't know. Let's fire another one. We've gotten it to land inside before. Kerbal was fun. It was good. We, um, we used the tutorial a lot. We got into orbit with the tutorial's help. And we did a safe re-entry after being in orbit without the tutorial's help. And, uh, we learned a lot. Okay, cool. This is where we want this to be. <sighs> weird. So weird. All right. Now, let's pray that I don't reset it on accident. <laughs> Mel, welcome in. How's it going? Oh, I'm saying hi, but I'm going to the Bucks. <laughs> I wanted you to know in case I chat from there. Okay, thank you. What are you going to do with the Bucks? Before too long, you'll be annoying your friends. With orbital mechanics. <laughs> okay. Now let's go to Bramble. Of course, you're all the way over there. It's fine. Everything's fine. We can hang out for a second. What the buck? <laughs> Sounds like a bar, yeah. <gasps> yeah, Starbucks, yeah. I do not know. I did not draw cards yet to see. Oh, okay, nice. It's not the best coffee place, but they have pink drink, which is good. And more importantly, outdoor seating. Also very good. All right, let's just go. Three, two, one, blast off. Goodbye, Timber Hearth. What's happening? What are we doing? How's everyone today? Okay, error duplicate signal again. Interesting. Is your AC running? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Can you hear it? You better go catch it. Please, Mel. <laughs> I thought you were going to the Bucks. It's hot out, so maybe staying inside is better. Well, it depends. Stayed up too late. Oops. Oh, reading chat and flying. Not a good practice. Uh, Kerbal Space Pro Program and Satisfactory. Nice! I actually just recently tried Satisfactory for the first time. Um, really beautiful game. I don't think it's meant for people like me because I'm like, oh, I want to run around and meet all the different types of animals and, um, tour all of nature and climb to the highest, like, peak and I don't think that's the goal of Satisfactory. I don't think you're supposed to just run around and explore and look at all the pretty scenery. <laughs> mm. Kids don't twitch and drive <laughs> or twitch and fly, yeah. We sort of kind of saved it, but I was going... I went quite a ways past. I avoid Satisfactory because it's absolutely made for me and I lose what free time I have. Yeah. 
I want to meet the different kinds of animals and tour nature. Nature, I want to murder anything that's not in natural order. True, I, some of the animals are real lethal in that game, so I shouldn't get too close. Unfortunately, that's not the focus, yeah. Alright, so, what is this telling us this time? It's gonna, it's about to swap, right? Because we're gonna do this thing where we go through the door. And now it's gone. And now it's not a duplicate signal. What? There's so many seeds. Ooh, I think I heard a fishy. Go, go, go. Now where are the fishies gonna be? Oh, no! This place is so cursed. Oh, I hate it. Meeting types of animals on different planets. Try No Man's Sky. Yeah, I've I've not watched. I need to watch a trailer. I've heard the name so many times, but I don't really know what it even looks like. Your character is less like Captain Planet and Satisfactory, and more like Hoggish Greedly. <laughs> Why does this exist? <sighs> All right, we got credits, we beat the game, it's fine. <sighs> kind of miss Spore? I've played a little tiny bit of Spore, yeah. Behind one of those doors is a new car. What happens if I turn? And then, okay, so it doesn't disappear and then reappear. One of them is closer than the others. And it's interesting that when we go inside of a seed, something weird happens, right? It's like a mirror. Like you're seeing the reflection of a reflection of a reflection of a reflection. Okay, let's maybe go this this one. But look how close this light is. That's a fish, right? This one's too close to a fish. Oop. Okay, now what happens? Okay. <sighs> oh, I feel like I heard something. But now there's only one light, right? So this one's less scary? until we get closer, and now I can't really see properly. I feel like they're not coming from the light. The light is danger. Ooh. This is looking promising. This is looking like what we saw. Oh, there's one inside the bramble, and there's the one that we shot. This is good. This is good. Oh, it's just the bones. Okay, so I think the light is on, even though it's a dead anglerfish. I probably shouldn't have parked over here. Can I get inside? Excuse me. Pardon me. Oop. 
Maybe through this tiny hole here? No. Whee! I gotta find a way to get in and then I can look around. Look, there's trees! Look, there's a campfire! Let me in! Okay, let's go in from the front, maybe where we're supposed to. And the harmonica! This is important! Oops. I wanna roll. There we go. I'm trying to... Oh my god, please, Jen. I tried to roll and then there are times when you have no concept of what the outside of your ship looks like. So you just bonk on every single possible thing. Okay, maybe let's park on top. I don't even care, let's just get out. Seems fine. <laughs> I wanna go down there, let's go. Yes! Feldspar! Look, there's gravity crystals too. I'm sure there was a place for us to park. Yo! Hey, guy! Yay! You're here! Whoa! Where do you come from? No one's come here in, yay. well, ever, actually. Thanks for the yay! We did it! Feldspar! Uh, that makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble after me, of course. Well done! <laughs> Say, it's you- <laughs> so many yays! <laughs> uh, they made you an astronaut and you haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you! Feldspar, you're alive! You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? This is a good story. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep, and I needed a new challenge, and none of us had ever been inside Dark Bramble, so I think, hey, let's give it a try. I've been cruising around for a while, dodging the odd, massive, interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, and I run into this huge anglerfish, the biggest I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy, I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and, well, like I said, crash. Blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found the skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Your favorite, Harthian? Oh my gosh. Um, I can't believe you didn't die. I can't believe you destroyed your ship. No wonder there's so many stories about you back home. I don't know. I'm just going to say wow, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Oh, yes, uh, everything. Um, I found something. I went to the core of Giant's Deep. So you figured out the old tornado trick, did you? Good work. I found that bit by accident, but let's keep that between you and me, hey? Hornfels would have had my handsome head if he knew I'd been riding cyclones again. The ship is fragile, it can break. You can't subject it to extreme conditions. Not like I was flying the thing into the sun now, was I? <laughs> Feldspar is great. I like Feldspar, yeah. And the jellyfish, you figured those out? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, I've, you've done real well for yourself. You're a fine astronaut, sure, but you might just become a pilot yet. Pull up a marshmallow stick! Oh my gosh. Um, Where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know that space is weird here. Yeah, intensely weird. Who would fly their ship into the sun? Hmm, definitely not us. Ever tried throwing your probe into one of the weird seeds? See there with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your probe tracker will tell you the probe is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, see, but inside it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside the seeds. 
Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind while you're exploring Dark, Bram Dark Bramble, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Where's your ship? It exploded. What happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eaten a seed. And then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach. Ooh. Gross, huh? The skeleton was a good find. The light keeps the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, should I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quiet, peaceful-ish. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Been nice to have a break. <laughs> Wait, so now I have immediately have to think of whether or not I've been testing our headlights in here. I don't think I've touched them. Because I think by default the headlights are always on, but I could be wrong. And what he made it seem like is if the headlights are on, then they stay away from the light. Or we could use the probe as a light, because the probe has a nice white light beacon on it, but then I lose my direction of where I'm going. Hmm. Something to think about. Something to think about. Let's have a mallow. Let's refuel. Let's breathe. We already refilled oxygen, okay. We're gonna lose our gravity over here. Oh, and we're at the end of our time. So we can't get pictures from this other one. Do they all look the same? Are they all taking the pictures of the same thing at the same time? Let's throw another one in here. Oops. Before we run out of time. Also, Feldspar didn't mention anything about... Um... Anything about... Is this gonna throw it? Oh no, I recalled it. Oh man. About his memory, like, dying over and over again. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> what do I do with that? All right. Oh man, here. Sit by the fire with Feldspar at the end of all things. This was super cool. Toast, how's it going? Welcome in. I love this game too. <laughs> I'm glad we took a uh, detour here. Now we can get a selfie with this one. This is all still affected by the supernova in here. It doesn't seem like, um, it doesn't seem like Feldspar thinks that they've been gone for that long. So maybe the third mask is not Feldspar's. You can launch the scout and hit yourself with it, yeah. Sleepy Bear, how's it going? Thank you for the lurk. Okay, let's read our journal. Our our um our log was updated, so we get to read some more. Hey, Slate. Should we tell somebody about Feldspar? 
Should we go talk to Gossen? What does Gossen say? Or Hornfells, if we tell them that we found Feldsbar. Yum. I don't know. I don't I don't know that I want to immediately go talk to them. Let's go at least get our suit our um space suit. And do some light reading. Hey, oh there's more to explore here. Fair enough. Feldspar is alive. They crashed their ship and uh are now camping inside a huge anglerfish skeleton. Feldspar doesn't think my scout tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once. They have a theory that space doesn't work the same inside Dark Bramble. Feldspar doesn't sound overly eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the relative peace and quiet. Urbosa, how's it going? Welcome in. Um... So are all, don't answer this, but then are all the brambles just smaller versions of other brambles? Because that one was like, we fired a, a, a scout into the seed and it hit us. Like we were inside the seed and outside the seed at the same time. Relative peace and quiet, oh my gosh. <laughs> so that's something to try to possibly wrap my brain around um and then we should mess around with the headlights and the light of the scout a little bit that makes me think i don't know it's there's something about like it makes me think once you go into the first part of Bramble that everything is actually contained in that first room. But I, I don't know. It just makes me think a little bit more of like maybe there's not, maybe we shouldn't be going into seed after seed after seed after seed. A few sessions ago, I hate the jetpack. I gotta get my jetpack! Exactly! Yeah. Um... So let's, you know what? Let's take a break from fish. Let's go. Let's go talk to Gossen and and Hornfels because why not? Because they're our friends. I think I can safely get to the path over here. Eh, let's just use the elevator. I know there's a quick way up once we go back down this elevator. Da da da. It's the one that you can't jump up if you don't have your jetpack on. A minute you're going for the music? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, probably. Oh, thank you, Austin. Yeah, it's um it's called Outer Wilds. You explore space. And you solve a mystery. A big mystery. So weird having the ship marker right now. Hello, friends. Hello, statue. Oh, I wonder what happens if we do the core thing again, and we go through the black hole, and then we come back and look at the statue. Maybe nothing, but wouldn't that be neat? <laughs> Uh, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's a translator, blah, blah, blah. I'm excited. Okay. Hal. Hornfels. Gossen's in the cave. I found Feldspar! It does open up a new thing! 
you found Feldspar and they, they're in Dark Bramble? Stars above, this is wonderful news. Thank you. Thank you for finding them. Feldspar didn't immediately join you on your ship and return here is incredibly Feldspar of them. We were never entirely sure what Feldspar was thinking back then either. Still, we ought to fish them out of that dreadful place with all haste. I'll radio Gossen and have them prepare a ship. It really should be Gossen who brings Feldspar home. Thank you. You can hardly imagine how profoundly happy I am to hear they're alive and unharmed. Aw, nice. That's so happy. Should we go talk to Gossen too? Oh my gosh, this is uh this is day nine. Um and we've been having pretty long pretty long streams, like five hour to six hour streams for most of the days we've played this. Here's our ghost matter. Hello. Thought I might see you before the big launch. Oh, we can't tell Gossen ourselves. Are you kidding? I'm a natural at this. <laughs> There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up in the Zero-G cave. Oh, yeah. Um, we're good. Alright, cool. Worth it. No, this game is not boring. <laughs> but I think you'll find that um, most people watching here are, are, are huge fans and it never gets old. The more you watch it, especially people playing it for the first time, um, it's just, it's really nostalgic and the music's great. The characters are great. A little frustrating, but worth it. Yeah, you need patience, yeah. Yeah. It's all rose-colored glasses after some of the beginning stuff, but... If you like games like Mist and Subnautica, you'd probably like it, yeah. TT, welcome in. How's it going? Happy Monday. It's impossible to tell how far someone along is. Yeah. <laughs> we show the ship's log um, most cycles, but it is... It is pretty hard to tell. We already had our mallow, but we're gonna have another one. And then, um... And then I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do. We could go to Ash Twin. Since we, we kinda killed some time, and we could mess around with Sun Station stuff again. I, I really am at a loss for what to do there. Um, oh, we already have our suit on. But we can at least try. It's quite challenging in a good way. Yeah. Kaz, how's it going? Welcome in. All right, three, two, one. Blast off. I actually think we should play Mist, but I don't know if I would like it for stream. But I have to play it. I watched um, Bren playing Riven the other day and just the feels and like the nostalgia of when I, I played Riven as a kid but never played Mist. And I used the guide. Like I would try my hardest to get the puzzles but then I would use the guide and I don't know. It was still very much worth it. Um, I said I was going to the twins and then I started looking for Bramble. So let's go over here. There's the sun station. There's our twins. Just making an early din. Me and the dog trying to keep cool. Yeah. I bet. It's been so hot and humid today, too. Could try abduction. Think I like it because sometimes I like to relax and chill. Nice. Yeah. For watching, I feel like if you don't know if you're going to play it or not, or if you're just kind of chilling and hanging out, it's a great... I don't know, atmospheric space game to watch and like it's very pretty. The music is really chill. Okay. Now let's devise some sort of plan. 
I'm not great at plans with Ashwin. I just kind of hop around. And bonk. We, I feel like there's more to maybe figure out about these. No, we've looked at these so extensively. They have elevators in them. That's about it. They have these little platforms. Um... There's got to be something, like, underneath one of the other towers. Maybe there's a door or some something. There's got to be something. Abduction be is beautiful. What's abduction about? Same guys, but more recent. Ooh, nice. They certainly are things that exist. Thank you. Thank you, Semicortex. Solid landing giving. That's becoming the norm. But quick and gentle landing. Thank you, Austin. Yeah, we've gotten pretty reliable at most of our landings. I do have a mishap here and there. Um, what can I say? I'm not perfect. That's the high energy lab. That's the warp receiver on Ember. I think we can see the bottom of this one once more sand disappears, so we still might even be here a little bit too early. Um, let's go find another tower. Beautiful. Here's one. Which one is this? Uh, this looks like the cyclone one, maybe? The giant's deep one? Yeah, because here's the sun again. And I'm, I don't want to spend too much time looking around the sun tower, because I feel like we've wasted... Not wasted, but we've, we've looked around the sun tower a lot. And I feel like it's... I don't know. We need to try some other things, too. It does make me want to stay and look for an entrance, but we've just spent so much time walking around the base of it. What about this one? Ta, welcome back. How'd everything go? What are we exploring? We're, we're, um, back on Ash Twin because we got... some new information and we spent a little bit of time in Timber Hearth at the beginning of this loop, so we, we were kind of stuck with a shorter loop, so I figured we might as well come back and take a look around. I thought that was going to be a hard landing. We got an ending. Okay, here's the timber hearth one. Let's get some oxygen. And then maybe we'll look at the base of this tower. There's doors in here we got the ending that said yeah fabric of space time has been destroyed the best one oh my god tt it was so weird it was so alarming And that's why you don't spoil things, because it was so worth it to be surprised by that. And just, what? What is happening? Okay. I don't see much... ...around here. Investigating all these little nooks and crannies. But also watching out for the sand. May, how's it going? Welcome in. Probably considered the good end for the universe? No. <laughs> yeah, kazoo time! Exactly! I could not believe it! It was so silly and just... 
Just perfect. Just right on brand with everything that's happened. Like, congrats, you broke it. Have a kazoo, a kazoo ballad. And it makes me very happy that there's multiple endings. Love a good the way you play affects the end of the game moment. Oh, we're gonna run out of fuel though. Well, it's fine. I gotta be careful. I always feel like the pull of this is a wider area than I expect it to be. Anything? Anything? I don't think so. Hmm. What about at the base of this one? This should have two exits and one is on the bridge, right? Oops. Yeah. Does it have three exits? We could go back and look at the sun tower and all the cactus plants that live inside. Oh, we haven't really done anything with this room either. This room confuses me. I'm just gonna leave that there. And here's the cyclone tower. Here's an elevator, but it's the base of this one. We've been here before. And we've walked around on this spiral, but there's not much to see. Some poor Nomai. I don't want to go to Giant's Deep, though. Wee! Anything to see here? Should we go back to the ship and refill real quick? Sure. I don't know. It's so puzzling. And it's too late to get to the sun station. I always think it's so interesting that even if we find it, by the time we find it, we can't use it because the sun station gets eaten up. What's this the base of? Brittle Hollow again? Yeah. It's cool looking. I was hoping to see more of the undersides of these towers because I thought maybe, I don't know, maybe one of the other ones would have an elevator down or something. Commands are disabled. Oh, <laughs> yeah. For fun, dude. This one has multiple elevators. Is there an elevator going down? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, SM is Super Metroid. <laughs> we're due for another randomizer, and we're, we're due for, um, SMZ3. But I still I still don't feel like I would want to jump into an entire SMZ3 seed without finishing 
a Super Metroid seed. I think this is just the base. There's no more elevators. Well, worth it to see this, because I don't know that I've seen this before. Is there something underneath this one? Just like there's something underneath the other one? Not really. At least not yet. And that's the sun one up there, which we've explored this cavern quite a bit. Doesn't mean we've exhausted all options. Get them both down on there. Yeah, on their own first. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have a question. I know this is not related to Outer Wilds, but while I have you here, any Super Metroid randomizer enthusiasts, um, is it possible to set separate difficulties for both games? Or are you pretty much locked into like one difficulty level? Like, can I do a Triforce hunt too? Or does that mess it up? Oops, we're gonna get sucked up. Cabbage, welcome in. How's it going? For SMZ3, yeah. I don't know. We could talk about it later. It's not really topical to Outer Wilds, but... Yeah, Triforce Hunts May. My favorite. I had a really good seed the other day. We did a multi-world, and it was, um... It was a quick one. I got... I was in BK mode. For, like, the first time in my life. Only because my moon pearl was stuck somewhere annoying for someone else. Waiting for Wind Waker co-op? Ooh, that's fun. Basically just normal hot, hard logic. Okay. The fewest options out of anything. Gotcha. Yeah, so I don't know that we're quite ready for that with the difficulty that I'm at. So this provide... This, this ended up being fruitless. This provided no answers. Ugh. Very disoriented. Oh, what's my ship doing? Ship, are you okay? And that's it. We've been at the end of the cycle on top of these towers. We've been at the end of the cycle at the base of these towers. We've been at the end of the cycle maybe on some of the platforms of these towers. We've looked at the bases of all the other towers. We've been inside the core. And not all the other towers have bases that you can, like, go look at under the rocks. They might have them above the rocks, but it's hard for me to keep track on, like, one 22-minute cycle, which ones we've seen and which ones we haven't. We see the bottom of this one. This one is massive. Oops. There really aren't very many rough landings on Ashwin. You just kind of fling yourself around with the jetpack. What's that? Oh, just like a weird shadow. I think that one is... This is Sun again. So we saw the base of the... Ash Twin one, too. It's right over here. It gets real dark. Then it gets real bright. I still feel pretty good... Oh, wait, there was that noise again of the thing opening. About how much I've been, like, exploring all of this. But we don't have answers. That's okay. We did this because we needed to do something at the end of another cycle. <laughs> the way it gets dark still gives me goosebumps half the time. Yeah, it gets real dark. 
It's so dark. Okay, so now... Now back to fish. We're, we're, we're tr trading off from one thing to the next. That was a sun station cycle. Now back to fish. Let's have a marshmallow. Okay, I have a safe word question. It's a yes or no question. It's, it's obscure. Bear with me. But do you think, safe word, do you think drawing a diagram of the bramble seeds will help me figure it out? <laughs> Did you all draw diagrams also? You can answer that too. Yeah, and it's not, it's a subjective, like, kind of a question. No, yes, I did. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 75% yes, no, I did not. Thank you, thank you. Just something to think about. Um... We could go we could go back to Feldspar if we want to. I almost want to go back and just look around in the first very first seed that we go inside of. Okay, three, two, one, blast off. Without without using the scout. Oh, and we're gonna try the scout for lighting purposes. For using the light to, I don't know, do something. But if they're, it's really interesting that Feldspar would say something about the light of the fish when they're blind and that they're territorial. But maybe that's just because they hear me and I'm too much up in their space and they think I'm another fish. Oh, hi, interloper. Well, this is unfortunate. No, oh, we're fine. It was going by us real fast and I got scared for a second, but we're good. What if we... If Have I thrown a scout in just from the outside? If we throw a scout in right here, do we automatically get... A double signal. Probably. Let's try that. I don't think we've done that. Also, headlights off, headlights on. Yeah, the default is that they're always on. Interesting. Interloping on our flight plan, yeah. I've had a nickel every time I smacked into the interloper. Oh my gosh. So, no duplicate signal yet. Did they... Ooh, does that lure them away if we send it first? But I feel like the fish... They, like, respawn every time. Ooh, what is this? The wall. Nice. If we... Sorry, I'm just hovering here for a second. If we keep taking pictures, is a fish going to come up and bop the scout, do we think? It doesn't appear to be doing anything. Is the light getting brighter? It doesn't look like it is. And it's not a duplicate signal. But it got farther away from us, and then it got closer... That seems weird. It's 
take some more pictures. There's another fishy. So many pictures, I'm sorry. Right into the fishy's mouth. Oh, terrifying. 1.3. 1 1.1. And now it goes back down. That's weird, right? And it's still moving. And now, is it resting yet? It's resting, but we're, you know, hovering here. That's right, I forget that the picture sound's not really that loud. I always think it's louder than it is. Okay, so then maybe let's go in with our headlights off just to see. Why does it get farther and then closer? Also, I don't really have a plan here. Um, do we use our thing real quick? Oh, that's terrifyingly loud. Wait, did it just go away? Oh, because I backed out of the entrance. So now it's two kilometers, and it's still not a duplicate signal. Does that only happen once we go in further? I'm not sure yet. What is it taking pictures of? The same thing? Yeah. I feel like Feldspar is probably easier to find than the vessel. I don't like this. Okay, but our headlights are off, so maybe that's good. I don't know, though. Let's just creep along and try not to panic. And try not to bump into too many things. Or any things, rather. Oh, is that a fish noise already? I'm not sure. got disoriented a little bit. Well, I just, I went this general direction because I thought that's where the feldspar signal was coming from. Can we use this safely? Okay, this light I think is actually the seed that we want to go in, right? Oh, I heard a fish. Let's go. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, so icky. Oh, okay, we made it. Cockpit's damaged, but we made it. So, having the headlights off didn't do anything. I, using the signal thing probably did it, maybe, because that made a noise, but I don't know how else to know which direction to go. Maybe we just used it too close to the fish, we shouldn't have used it so close. But that's why the scout's helpful. Except now our scout is gone. We could throw another one. It's like a breadcrumb thing. If I go in this door and turn around, will I see the scout marker behind me? No, because it should be on the screen right now and it's not.
Is this room just full of fish? I don't remember how to get to Felt's Bar in this room, but I remember this room. Alright, what happens if I launch another scout? Anything? Do the lights move? Do they follow it? Oh yeah, and I'm supposed to pay attention. It got further away and then closer to us. Is it going to just get flung back right back at us? Is that how this works? Eventually it's just going to sit still, right? Yeah. That was exciting, I know. That did get a little bit... Ooh. A little bit tense. Ooh, are those fishies over there? I think those are fishies over there. But there's no light yet. I'm afraid to turn the thing on, but I'm going to do it real quick and see what happens. Is it you up here? Yeah. Because there's two lights up there. And one of them is maybe the bramble and one of them is the fish itself. There's a seed. Oh, weird. But we can't go inside this seed. Okay, so that was wrong. What does this one look like? Now we get a duplicate. Doctor, how's it going? Welcome in. It's good to see you. We are, gosh, just trying to make progress today. Been a, it's been a struggle. Yeah, the canopy has more character now. Ooh, did it hear me? <gasps> There's another, there's the other scout though. There's three scouts now. So is this room just full of scouts? No. What's up here? Nothing. The signal is definitely coming from here. Is it also coming from here? Weird! This game is so weird. I think we're safe to go this way. Hopefully. Though I don't know what kind of fish are going to be inside of this one. This is the safe one. This is, this is the only light in here is the the dead fish light okay well we can go back here because it said there was more to explore but we got there without having to go to timber hearth first which is nice but we are like you know running out of time on this cycle this is so weird looking i still don't know the best place to park here <laughs> I wish we could park where there's, you know, a gravity crystal. Just park right here, next to the campfire. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're, like, floating backwards slowly. Feldspar, it's fine. Just, uh... Let me hang out right here. In your fire. It's probably not good to get the ship next to a fire, huh? Let's go fix the cockpit and look for clues. It's fine. <laughs> Solid landing. Um, oh, hang on. I gotta get away from the gravity crystal for a second. Oh, gravity crystal, you're too strong. Why were you not like this on Brittle Hollow?
Good as new. All right, high felt spar. What else do we need to do here? Uh, hello? That's uh not alarming at all. It's fine. I don't know what that was. Whoa, why did we turn so abruptly like that? Probably bonked my head. Only time willingly go inside anglerfish's mouth is when I can meet feldspar in there. Trying to fit an SUV and motorcycle parking spot. <laughs> in this game, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle, Doctor. We're really just putting all these little pieces together. What's that light over there? Seems fine, right? Totally normal. What, what was that? There's a ship. Oh, that's where Feldspar's ship is. Should we go see it? I think you'll go to bed. Oh, thank you, Urbosa, um, for ha saying have a nice stream. I hope you have a good sleep. We'll see you around. Is this gonna electrocute us? Yeah, I'm not gonna get too close to that. Oh, look how interesting, though. Is this... Maybe we need to get close for the ship's log, though? Is this... Did this cause something? Some catastrophe? There's a selfie. For science, we'll get closer. Do we have to repair it? We know how to do that. Can I lock on? No. Maybe because... Oh, okay. Can I fix you? Okay, well, I had predicted that also. I don't think I can fix it. It's fine. Can I go inside of these vines? Huh? <laughs> we got zapped. I probably... Well, I don't know if I would have wanted to bring the ship this way. Weird. We're just going for it. We don't have a ton of time, I don't think. Ooh, okay, maybe don't go for it that much, Jen. This is so cool! <gasps> what the hell? It sounds so different now. Where are we? Okay. Yeah, I would say there was more to explore here. This the ice. This is the planet, what, that it used to be? Before it got all broken up, and now there's ice on all the other planets, too. We, I, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. It says there's a scout over here, but I'm just gonna, oh, jelly! I'm just gonna follow this path! <laughs> Just keep listening to me gasping. <gasps> Trip four, question mark, entry number, I'm gonna say not one. Crash is three, boring crash is zero, a personal best. Jelly path. Uh, well, ho, never thought I'd see one of these beasties inside of giants, outside of giants deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Blarg, this thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped. Okay, well, this is giving us a clue that we already used, but that's cool that it has more to explain here. I'm going inside the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if there's... if what's in there tastes better. 
Is this a flask? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jelly. Three minutes remaining. I feel like we're just gonna run out of oxygen because we're going... We're going as far as we can, seeing as much as we can see. Where the heck are we? Are we supposed to go inside this jelly? Again? We already went in the other jelly. Hello? I don't know, this seems not necessary right now. Ooh, and there's our timer. Bummer, man. There's so much to do. We're too good to need these clues. <laughs> we like stumbled upon our, our entry into the core. Ooh. Oh, this is ice right here. I can't get past. Can we go down? I feel like that's a bad idea, but we're out of time anyways. We Oh. Wait, was that always there? Oh, okay. Sorry, Harthian. My bad. I was trying to look around at cool stuff. Blarg, yeah. Better than the dust traps. Crash tag, how's it going? Bomberman, how's it going? Welcome in. Man, I feel like we should just get out of the ship in here and like... Oop, there's a fish that's gonna come get us. And just run around and explore every seed pod that we can find. Oh, look at all the duplicates. Oh, we ran out of oxygen. That was so tight at the end. Were we going to die to the fish? Were we going to die for a lack of oxygen? Were we going to die for the supernova? <laughs> oh, careful on your ears. Um, There's going to be a very loud gasp when we wake up because, yeah, big gasp warning. Thank you, Semicortex. Or the bonks? Yeah, we took so much bonk damage. Um, do I have seltzer left? Yeah. That was a good one. Gasp. <sighs> At least it's not getting squished to death. Yeah, the squished one is still worse. Also, I feel like that purple thing goes a different direction every single time. The cannon goes in a random coordinate direction every time. And one time they got it right. And we have coordinates from the time that they got it right. But when we wake up, we just see it firing in all directions. Oh, let's go read our... I don't know if it added to our ship's log. Let's eat a mallow. I have a lot of- I have a lot to think about. All the mallows in chat. There you go. <laughs> did we get anything from that? We did. Ooh, it added a tile for us. And then I think we got the rest of Feldspar's camp. Okay, nice. Feldspar documented their attempts to eat this enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish insides from getting zapped. That's very... Okay, so the ice on... Giant's Deep is supposed to make you think and remember to go to Bramble to find more ice and more jellyfish, and then you find this journal. But we never did that. We just stayed on Giant's Deep and then experimented by getting electrocuted a lot of times, and then we got it eventually. <laughs> until we until we got it right. 
Feldspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better. So were we were we supposed to jump inside that jellyfish? Maybe. Maybe I should have tried harder. It seemed like we were just going to fall to our death, so I stopped. But now that jellyfish is on the exterior somewhere. So we could go straight to that and look at it again without going inside. It says there's more to explore. There's so much more to this game than you realize. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, blast off. Bramble, I'm coming for you. I like this part of Bramble where we're just kind of messing around with other stuff besides our usual fish path, you know? I can handle that. It's when it's death after death of the same fish pass that it gets old. Bramble's growing on us. Oh my gosh, Wooden. Yeah, it kind of is. The outskirts of Bramble. Ooh, you know what? I should have looked at it. I wonder if it had the, the little mini map of Bramble when we were looking at that jellyfish. Because I would have been able to tell if it was the North or the South Pole. Oh well. Okay, maybe don't fly past it. Typical Jen. We did land on one of these um, branches one time. Just to see if it would have added the outline of the planet to our journal. But it didn't, and then I didn't ever try additional branches. Super interesting. So this looks like something where we can park and then jump down into the cracks if we want to. Or we could not do that. We can look at it from the other side, I think. I just don't know where we're going to park, but let's see if this is the one we want before we jump out, you know? Oh, weird. This is so odd. I don't know that I can tell from here. Oh, what's that? Uh, a rock. Is that something? No, I think it's just the brand, the the vine poking through the ice. I almost thought it was like a backpack or something. Okay, let's look at the other side, maybe. I don't know that we're going to be able to tell from the top, though, which is really annoying. And I don't know for, sh like, absolute certain that we will be able to get to it from the outside. It might be something weird and trippy where we're too big or too small. Like, I feel like Bramble messes with your size and your proportions and your your relative size to other things and oh god are you s stuck in there in this bunch of icicles well we might just have to try jumping in one of these cuz um, I don't know that I can tell from here. It's fine. We 
weird. It's so weird. I guess we could try launching a scout instead of just jumping down, perhaps. Oh, man. It's going to take us forever to get back to Feldspar again. That takes so much of the cycle. I also don't know that it's worth it to keep making this trek. If it's just more clues about how to get to the core. Also, we don't have infinite oxygen to just jump down there without our ship. Ugh, what a pain. What a pain not having infinite oxygen. Gosh. We should just carry a little plant around with us everywhere. I don't know why we don't do that. They have the plant set up so nicely in your ship. CG, welcome in. How's it going? Is it down here? Oh, I see something. More bramble. More vines. Is that worth investigating? I don't know. A little decorative fern goes a long way. Mm -hmm. One deep breath will give you enough oxygen for the rest of your life. Oh my gosh. I don't know that there's anything down there. think just vines. Oh, man. Okay, don't jump in the hole yet. We don't even know if we're on the right Hole. We should probably go back to Feldspar, but I'm being stubborn slash killing time. <sighs> I thought we would be able to get to it from here, but it seems like maybe we cannot. At least not without proper direction. Three, two, one, blast off. And it's packed so tightly together, I can't necessarily tell. All right, let's go back in and see if we can remember how we did this. We spent a lot of time playing with the scouts, so maybe this time I just need to go faster. And table, how's it going? Welcome in. I don't remember how we did this last time. Oh, did we not go through the door enough yet? Yeah, we didn't. Okay. But you know what? We just used this to get to Feldspar. We did it and then turned it off and then went quickly. To the next seed. Yeah, the fish again. We have to. It's like critical game stuff, but it's so scary. And then I think this is the one with like 20 different lights in it. Yeah. But now we don't have to land at Feldspar's camp. Which one is it? This one right here in the very middle? There's two though. I think the one in the middle is the false one. Okay, maybe just go, go, go. Oh, we picked a dicey path through the thorns.
And then this should be the safe one. People live here? Um, they're stranded here. This, I mean, I guess technically they do live here, yeah. But not because they decided to settle here. <laughs> I wonder if we can take our ship with us to the other ship? I feel like it's gonna be dangerous though to go that close to the, you know, electricity ship. So at some point we'll have to just get out, you know? We can park on top of this vine and then hope for the best. Uh, well, there is an exit on the other side. Do we think we can fit through that? Let's go look at it just in case Because it would be great to bring our ship. Oop, come on come back to bring our ship with us um oh, 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 oh. Can I lock on to anything? No You think it's a big enough entrance it doesn't look big enough Bunk. Okay, let's switch to, um, here. This. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Interrupt us. How's it going? Welcome in. You made it? Heading off to spoiler chat? Yeah. <laughs> We've got tons of emergency marshmallows. Yeah, they do. Um,. It's an adventurous lifestyle, yeah. I kind of thought we were going to fall right into the little cavity, but we didn't. And there goes our ship. I got very disoriented. Here we go. Come on, come on. Go through here again. Let's see what we can accomplish this time. Should we go the other way maybe this time? Oh, it's... It's- there isn't. Okay. Cool. Good that we ruled that out. We just don't have a whole lot of time. And I'm very disoriented. Ah. Ah. Okay. And this is gonna start be- we're just gonna start having gravity here in a minute. And less fog. Less fog, more gravity. Maybe let's not use a million of our fuel? This, this is so weird. Now before I go through there, should I be using a pod or something? I don't know. Oh, this is so disorienting! Go, 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 go! What is down there? Oh, it pulls you in. You have to get, like, up and over the edge here. Okay, I think we're good now. Weird. It's so weird. I was not expecting any of this. I don't know if anyone was expecting to find something like this. Now we went through to the jelly, and I think... Oh, do we see the planet thing? Yes, yeah, South Pole. Good to know. I wanted to make a mental note of that. We could put the... Fire the pod into the jelly, maybe? I don't know. I don't know that I feel like jumping back into a jelly again, or if this is just a clue about... How to get to the core, which we already know. <laughs> Did it add to the ship's log? No. What else is there to do here? It says there's more to do here. But I'm af afraid to just fall back into the planet without our ship. Also, I do wonder what happens if we go back down after coming out here. Okay, I'm just so nervous we're gonna fall. Oh, there's a note.
Do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever eat in this life. I guess the jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love feldspar. Oh my god. Was this worth it? I guess. It's kind of cute. Oh, this is so weird looking. Uh, okay. What the ship log finds important. Yeah, that we had to find that little note, I guess. And that's probably it. Duplicate signal from our ship. So do we have time to go back that way? Yeah, let's try. I don't know what else we're going to do. We'll run out of O2 again. This is so weird. And now we're gonna jump down into the abyss. Wee! Where is this gonna take us? I don't know. Does it actually go back to where we were? It seems like it. We're gonna run out of things. And here's the break, and here's, yeah, here's the ship. Our ship is where? Floating away rapidly. Jen, slow down, slow down. Yeah, use the wall to stop you. Sure, it's fine. Go out the safe exit. And there's a duplicate signal from our actual ship though what why is this the duplicate signal where's the other one coming from well let's get some oxygen so we can hang out for a little bit longer and some fuel I hadn't already figured that out. Oh, you're good, Cordy. It's okay. Yeah, it would be helpful if we hadn't gotten to the core yet. I want to know where the other one's coming from, or if now they're sh they're fixed again. Or is it just say that because oh, it just it's so showing that at the edge of my like cursor. Should I go towards this one? What happens if we go towards this? Is this the bramble? This is the bramble inside of the... The dead fish. Okay, well, we want our ship then. I think all it's doing is saying... It's both outside and inside this one particular bramble at the same time. Why is that? We've made so much progress. But I still don't know how to get to the vessel yet. And we don't have to go back to that jelly again, which is good. Oops, uh, go down. Flight controls. I know how flight controls work. Seems like as good of a parking spot as any. Nope. Oh, oh god. <laughs> good job, Jen. Got very disoriented. As is typical. And there's our timer. It's like, we're probably getting close. Well, what else is in this room? Is there anything else in here? 
We know what's around the campfire. We know what the blinking light is. Also, where's the exit to this particular seed? Once you're in, you're in. Oh, here's an exit, right? Yeah. Oh, we want them off. Where did that take me? Eh? Oh, that was very strange. I think they were gonna eat, get eaten, or just supernova. really sure what happened there, but now we're back in this room, which is not the safe room with Feldspar. Feldspar's back inside of that one. There's our noise. Red Bramble! I gotta conquer you! Okay. So we finished the loop on the jellyfish. <laughs> At least we, we saw it through until... Well, we don't know if the ship's log is complete yet, but that was very exciting to explore. We know that, here's what I'm thinking, here's what's going through my head. We know that every time we go into, what is it, the red bramble or the one that has the fish that immediately see you, every time we go in that one, they're right there. We've tried getting out of the ship after they see us. And there wasn't enough time, right? We just, they chased us. We also know, we could try that again. We could try launching the ship towards them. Because now we do also know that... Oh, but he... Feldspar just found that skeleton. Feldspar didn't kill that fish. Also, I don't think that's the answer to launch our ship at the at the fish, but it is interesting that the ship can damage the bramble. It can poke holes in it and stuff. Yeah, let's eat a mallow and get our nice music here. Our hearth music is so good. I don't want to leave yet. But we gotta. We'll take in. Welcome in. How's it going, fellow astronauts? I hope you're having a good Monday. Let me scooch my chair up. I think we're good. Ship's log. 
We got one new note. Oop. After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Feldspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful insulation from electricity. Wow, we did all that work just to get that note. Oh well. <sighs> now we truly just have the two question marks. There could be other little, like, this isn't even connected to anything. I don't know how many of those there are that are just scattered outside of the web. But. Oh yeah, and we have this hanging city note still. I just haven't wanted to go back there, but. Because I assumed it was just something that I didn't read in the forge or something like that. Do not make jellyfish mallows, yeah. Maybe we go talk to um, Ryback and they give us a clue as to what's still in the Hanging City or something like that. We haven't reported back to any other travelers in a while. We haven't reported back to Ryback. We haven't reported back to Gabro. Um, Esker we have gone to and they're not terribly excited about anything we've seen. And, oh my gosh, Chert is difficult <laughs> to talk to if we don't go quick enough, which we're, we don't have our longest 22 minutes. Or do we just go back and mess with the fish again? Question mark. Such a long 22 minutes, yeah. That's what it feels like sometimes. Um, <sighs> let's, let's go back to the fish at least one more time before we go and go on like a side path. Three, two, one, blast off. Perfect, look at this. Okay. We know we can't, like, crash our ship into the fish. I don't think. We haven't really tried that. I think they just open their mouth. They're too big. They're too big and they're too fast. All right, I need to go through this door. And then I think we just go straight to the red one. I think no matter what, the red one is the red one. We just gotta be careful. And this branch always gets in our way. Oh, and there's one right below us. Let's go this way. Let's try to go safely. 
no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go in here. Now I'll slow down. What's our plan? What's our plan? I don't have a plan. Do we try launching a scout at it and seeing if it goes after the light? I don't think so, because they're blind. What if you hit it in the face with a scout? I don't know that's going to do anything. Do we try launching the ship at it? I don't really want to be outside of my ship, but we could try. I do kind of want to be without our ship. Oh, okay. What happens if we do this? Does this do anything? No? It hasn't turned to us yet. Is it behind us? Nobody's moving because of the scout. They don't seem to care about the scout. Alright, let's maybe get out and see what happens. I don't know. I don't think this helps us, though. But we're certainly quieter, right? And do we just keep going to the red, I think? Oh, this is awful. I hate it. If we touch any surfaces, are they going to hear us? Okay, jump jump scare warning because the noise is loud. It's going to be loud because we're going to be close. But it is like the game the little Harthians played or the Nomai played, right? Sneak against the wall, little fish. I don't know that this is it. This feels way too scary. Oh god, I hate it. Sorry chat if it makes a loud noise. Just go underneath it. It's blind. Don't make any noise. Oh my god. This is the farthest we've gotten. I'm not pushing any buttons. We have like no momentum. <laughs> Let's try to boop the anglerfish. No, 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 no. Okay, do you think we're safe to do just a little tiny, a little tiny boost? I think as long as it's just making those little noises, it's not yelling at us, it's just snoring. We gotta whisper, yeah. I wonder if the anglerfish tastes good. That's what Feldspar would be asking. So we're gonna try to go to the red one again. Oh, but I don't know if that's right. Is the red one just going to take us back to where we, you know, does the red one always take you to the red one? We've never gotten this far, so I don't really know what else to try. And I'm too afraid to use our signal scope. Vessel, can you please just be in this room? So we don't have to do any more of this maze. Ooh, what's that? Oh, maybe it is. 
What's happening here? What are you? Are these fish eggs? These are fish eggs. I probably shouldn't go near those. With all their little lights inside. The slowness makes it more dramatic. This is cool looking. Are we close enough? Or, I mean, not close enough, far enough away that we can use our signal scope now? It's glowing so red. How close to these can we get? Without causing too much of a stir. Why is it so bright? Oh, but we don't have unlimited O2, as we have discussed. I don't know what signal I'm looking for, though. We didn't place the scout this time. Now we know that we can place the scout and do this again. Okay, let's skedaddle from here. So that's what the red is. I'm, I, th I think that's what the red is. Oh, there's another fishy over here. Hello. I'm not touching anything. It's fine. Let's go down here. Just trying to scoot around until we run out of oxygen. Oop, that's a fishy. Oh, it looks like there's still a red light within that almost. Isn't that weird? Oh, and then it just went away. It almost looks like there's a red light behind it. I don't know if that's just kind of an effect or what. Everything looks red around us because of these... What it look like eggs. I don't not actually know if that's what they are. We probably should have messed with them. Just for science, since we don't have a lot of oxygen left. I'm curious what happens if we get closer. We need a better look at this since this is what we're closest to. I just assumed I knew what it was, but I don't know for sure if I know what it is. It's so weird though. Just go right in the middle. Everything's fine. Oh, this is so strange. I don't think anything is going to happen. Okay, 60 seconds. Bonk! Nothing happens. Weird. Alright, Harthian, you did good. I wasn't quick enough. Now we know! We learned so much! There's a fishy there. So I feel like we never tried getting out of the ship except for when it was too late. I panicked and got out of the ship several times because... Oh, what's over here? Oh, this is just the wall, I think. Because I didn't know where else to go. And I didn't know that you could get out, you know, before they started charging you. Um... We're going to get another gasp wake up. Yeah. Um, but that was, that was a good loop for sure. I feel like we're making progress. I definitely... When I was asking, like, is the ship too loud? I think I was alluding to... Do we need to get out of the ship? And we might not have to get out of the ship, but... Um, there's the gasp. I 
I definitely didn't want to go through there without the ship because of our oxygen. I mean, we keep dying from running out of O2. The game is massive, yeah. I don't think we added to the ship's log. Let's have a mallow. You asked if you needed to. Yeah. No, I know. You're good. It's it's all good. It's not that I'm saying like, oh, you guys should have answered my question differently. It's just that I was kind of ruling things out in my head, maybe in a way that I shouldn't have. Um, let's go up to the ship. And then I'm going to get ready to take our stream break. Maybe we can add a prediction for the day since um, we're going to be on break anyways. And we haven't done one in a while. Probably just the supernova, either supernova or ship's log. Getting out of the ship is already scary enough, yeah. yeah it didn't add anything to the, um, to the bramble here. Maybe select the right planet. Okay. So yeah, um, TT, if you want to set up that prediction, what do we think? Supernova death? Do you think I'll survive to the supernova or not? Or do we want to do ship's log? I guess this one is less likely for me to survive to the supernova because of the oxygen factor. So maybe ship's log would be better. Um, I'll let you pick. And I'm going to take a stream break, get up, stretch, go to the bathroom, get water if you need to, do all the things, and I'll see you in about five minutes. Thanks, friends. Uh, yeah. Welcome back, humans. I hope you had a good break. I sure did. <laughs> um, let's get back to our game here. Hi friends. I had a quick snack and the cats are doing good. Um, let's continue. Right back into the ship's log. I did not actually see what the prediction ended up being. It ran out before I got back. Which one did we end up going with? I saw the, tar the timer was starting right as I was getting up to go stretch. Uh, either way, our plan is the same. Go back again. Oh, but place the... Place the pod, the scout first this time. Because now we know that we can place it and then... get out of the ship and do all the things. Oh, you missed the prediction? That's okay. That's okay. I think on break is tough because a lot of other people are also getting up, so... <laughs> um, there will be other predictions. No worries. Okay. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Blast off. My plan is to do this run of Bramble, and then we're going to... Oh, there it is. Um, then we're gonna go do a run where we go to Chert right away, right at the beginning, and then Ryback, and then Gabbro. I think we can probably see all three of them in one loop. Um, yep. <laughs> we don't really need to see Esker. Um, I don't think... I don't know. We could go see Esker too if we want. We could add Esker. It's just tough because we'll have to go to... Oh yeah, we have to watch out for the interloper here. Um, we have to go to... Is it behind it? No, it is in front of it. To Ember Twin so quickly to get Esker, or to get Chert to say anything meaningful. 
Gojir, how's it going? Welcome in. Friend loop. Yeah, we'll do a friend loop. Okay, here we are. Now, let's see if I remember how to get to the... the vessel seed. We gotta switch the... Switch the signals here. And it's this one. Yeah, it's always the one up top. So let's go up there. We've generally been pretty good at this particular journey, but you know, things can change. I'm getting less scared of Bramble the more times I do this. The music, I'm getting used to it, even though it's still very scary. Uh, now we're gonna see debris. The best kind of loop, yeah. The fishies hug with their mouths, yeah! Something like that. Something like that. Okay, so we know that the red is another seed. So that's good. Here we go. Look, I'm getting quicker at this again. Only thing are the pointy things in the way, yeah. Otherwise it would be a most pleasant hug, right? Oh, nice. Okay. Let's go! So we know what to do. Speedrun loop! Yeah, we're getting smoother because we've done this so many times! It's fine. Everything's fine. Remember you asked before starting if it was a scary game and I was like, uh... Fang hug, yeah. It's, it's scary. It's suspenseful, and the yeah, and the and the fish are scary. Okay, focus, 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 focus. I almost forgot to turn the headlights off. Okay, stay right here. Okay, now we can get out. Oh no, don't get too far away from the door though. Because if we go backwards, that's bad. It's fine, everything's fine. Goodbye, ship. I'm not, I'm not pushing a single button. We're slowly floating. This is bad. This is really bad. We're too close. I don't know if I can make any maneuvers when I'm that close. I feel like I didn't set up a good thing here because I'm gonna run into this other one. Oh, sh shoot! And I did make a maneuver and we were too close. Ah. Uh. I think it's not scary enough to be an October special, but it's not scary. Not not scary. Sorry for the jump scares. I know y'all with the noises. I don't think we set ourselves up well. This last time we went in that, um, that entrance, I think they were facing the other way and we went the other side. Turned your volume up. I'm sorry. Thank you for the posture check, Wooden. I, I think I didn't move my webcam, but I feel like I'm not centered today. I keep going on this side of the, the webcam. Oh, I hate doing this over and over. Okay, let's do a friend loop because 
It's so repetitive. I hate how repetitive it is. And that that's the la like that's this annoying thing that's sticking and keeping us from finishing the game. Mallow, Mallow's in chat. Okay. Three, two, one, blast off. All right. Hey, Tombs. Yeah, this game rules. <laughs> it's really uh, frustrating at times. Parts of it are a little scary, but this game rules. Other than that. And some people really like scary games, you know? All right, we're going to Ember. It's fine, everything's totally fine. Uh, yeah, here's, here's our friend. Chert, we got here nice and quick. Park in the parking lot. Bonk. Ship romance, yeah. We love parking the two ships next to each other. And we'll go see Chert. Uh, I'm gonna jump off this lower spot here. You can hear the drums. Don't park over the line, we might get a space ticket, yeah. Okay, hello. I have a question for you. How do I know if I've spotted a supernova? We've asked that. What are you doing out here? What should I explore? How dangerous is the column of falling sand? I found something. I found your notes about Adelrock's main crater. Were they useful? The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid or partially made of ice like a much colder giant's deep. Hard to say, it used to be the fifth planet. You notice, of course, there's no such planet now. The place is Dark Bramble, which, how to put this, grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely and its shards were flung across space. Some of the shards collided with celestial bodies in our own solar system, such as Adelrock, which I believe is how the biggest crater was formed. Okay about a hidden planet okay how fascinating it might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible if you look at the physics of our solar system it would just have to be incredibly far out there farther than harthian ships would be able to travel and honestly we don't know all that much about what's out there the farther you go the less we know as such it's well within the realm of possibility such a planet exists okay that's the sixth location uh, that was weird. I found something. Let's ask about sun station. Is that what's in orbit around the sun? Then do you think this sun station? Quite clever of the Nomai to devise a way to study the sun up close and personal. It must have been tremendously difficult to construct and hot inside. I can only imagine. I wonder how they were able to travel back and forth from sun station and hourglass twins when the slightest slip up with would have meant a fiery death. I think we've seen that one before. Um, and then I found something quantum moon. Everyone loves a good mystery. Who wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps if I take a closer look at the star charts. Thanks, Chert. Cool stuff. All right, that's... That's it. That's everything we wanted to know. I'm glad we doubled back to check. Next up. 
right back. Three, two, one, blast off. There's the sun station. Oops. <laughs> Let's not turn and look at it as we're still taking off, shall we? Okay. There's uh, Brittle Hollow all the way over there. Oh, there's a prediction. If you were able to predict on the uh, on the break, I did not survive to supernova. It was uh, it was another fishy death and a scary one, a startling one. Remember when we found Lantern? That was really cool. When we went inside of a volcano. That was really cool. Remember when everything was a brand new discovery? And we weren't constantly dying to the same fish over and over again? That was cool. The good old days! Yeah, exactly. Um, let's just park at our favorite parking spot. Which I never remember which pole it's on. I don't think it's on a pole. Oh, isn't this it right here? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's on the dark side this time. Normally when we launch to Brittle Hollow right away, this is lit up. Okay, what is happening? There we go. Got it under control. Slightly more gravity here. Or higher gravity, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, except we gotta go quick, quick, if we use this as our parking space. Oh, this reminds me. I have a question about the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. There's a projection pool in there. But when we were floating around inside at zero G... I couldn't find a projection stone. Yeah, this is a safe word question. Um, is there a stone in there that we missed? Is it something that you have to pick up and like carry with you into the tower before you go zero G? That's all. There's not a stone in there, okay. We looked around quite a bit. I was watching the VOD because I made the highlight for that day. I was like, I was pretty good about looking around and I didn't see it. Doesn't mean it wasn't there, but. All right, that's all. <laughs> Not a super exciting safe word question, but. Hi, Ryback. You launched, that's great. Great job, you. I guess that means I've been here for a while. Uh, can I ask you something? I learned something. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff now. Look at this! All caps! I talked to a living Nomai! Ah! That doesn't make any sense! I don't understand! I'm very excited for you though, please stop yelling! <laughs> what? On the quantum moon? You said there's a sort of living Nomai on the quantum moon? Well, why didn't you say so? Oh wow, wow, this is the best thing that's ever happened in the history of Outer Wilds Ventures. I can't believe you talked to an actual Nomai. Great, so I just have to go back into space, fly to the quantum moon with zero visibility, find a spooky ruin, and travel through a few different types of dangerous terrain to get there. Okay, yeah, that's not so bad. That's probably doable. I think some people don't come back. Oh, we learned so much since we talked to them all the last time. I went to the comet and, oh wow, wow. So that's how the Nomai died? That's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still. Stars above, it's lucky we haven't evolved to live on land yet. Wait, what? Oh well. Uh, to think if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in this solar system. That would have been amazing. But I guess if I hadn't wanted to learn why the Nomai disappeared, I'd never have left Timberhearth and come out here or had any of these adventures. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying, but, you know, it has its moments. Um, 
I found Nomai writing about quantum pilgrimage. Pilgrimage to quantum moon, the Nomai mentioned the quantum, excuse me, the quantum moon in a lot of their writing, so it's clearly special to them, and, um, special enough to make a trip there by themselves. It sounds like a coming-of-age ritual, like how hatchlings stay hatchlings until their stomachs are strong enough to drink sap wine. Aww. He has an extra finger? Oh, nice. They're the only one with an extra finger. Uh, maybe once I know my journey to the quantum moon, they were considered an adult. I saw the sunless city. I saw the hanging city. I saw the old settlement. I think I have done all these. How do they keep the sand out? I'd be nervous getting buried. Two groups. Yep. One on Ember Twin, one on Brittle Hollow. Yep. I visited Hanging City. How was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you-know-what is beyond me. Maybe that- yeah, I remember reading this one. We need to- we do need to go back to Hanging City. We maybe should have come here last. Hmm. Alright. That's all I got for now. This is really cool. Thanks, Ryback. Do we need fuel? I don't know. We'll grab a little bit. I wonder if we should stay here and try to poke around the Hanging City and we can get Gabbro on another, another loop. Let's go ahead and stay because our ship's probably going to go bye bye Well, we've got lots of time. Relatively lots of time. We're being gen decisive. But I'm curious why it says there's more to explore there. But it could very well be that it's something in the in the forge too, I think. I just think it's something we haven't read yet. Cause if you don't put all of the stones in all of the spots to read them. Sometimes it doesn't fill up your whole ship log. Oh, what? I swear this bridge changes every time we come here. I guess that makes sense. It doesn't crumble the same every time. The hanging city thing might be best to be a safe word, but up to you, of course. Oh, true, if it's like a time suck to just go there for one tiny little thing. Is it a time suck to go there for one tiny little thing? That's a safe word question that you could answer yes or no to. Oh, is this both blocked now? Oh, rip. It's fine. This may be the end of our loop then. I think there's other ways to get to Hanging City, but... Depends on how quickly you find it. Well, yeah, it does depend. I guess, I mean, in your judgment, is it worth it? Is that something I should just save for later to do a little trip for? But we came here too late, so. Uh, that disappears part way through? Oh, because the crossroads fell fell away. It's fine. It's fine to hold off on it. Well, now we don't have a choice. It's okay. Brittle Hollow is annoying in that way. Yeah, now we're here. I wish we could get to, um... Giants Deep from here. That would be swell. Our old friend. White Hole Station. 
We haven't been back in a while. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, repair, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Suddenly, black hole, yeah. Oh, there we go. The gravity floor kicks in. Come here. We haven't heard that noise in a while. And we're done. Now what should we do? How much time do we have until our ship goes into the black hole though? That's what I wanna know. It's on the South Pole-ish? No, it's on, it's somewhere on the equator. Where's our little ship marker? There it is. Dun, 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 dun. Can we get to it or is too much of the surface gone? It's looking okay so far. Remember that time we landed by the gravity cannon and the ground just crumbled underneath us? And we fell into the black hole with our ship? <laughs> Remember that? Remember those? Since speaking of the good old times? Alright. 3, 2, 1, blast off. We're not wasting any time. Let's get out of there. Before the whole place crumbles. Uh, bye, Brittle Hollow. Let's go see uh, Gabbro. Oop, let's not fly directly into the lantern, perhaps? It's fine. Everything's fine. Mentioned day three in Brittle Hollow a few times, so I went back and scrubbed through the VOD. Oh, for, for what were you looking for? Reminded me of my frustration. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Day three, because that was the worst day. Because we just kept, like, we kept getting clues for the high energy lab, the black hole forge, the southern observatory, and we could not get to the southern observatory. And I kept getting mixed up, right, of which path took me to which thing. And then it kept crumbling, and we just took so many dang trips to the White Hole Station. It was annoying. It was really annoying. We haven't been to Giant's Deep in a while, either. We haven't been back in a minute. We could go back to the launch module at some point to see um, if any of the numbers have changed. Okay, we haven't flown on here in a while. It's kind of a pain. Um, but this one, does this have a parking space? No, this one doesn't have the little purple thing. Or is it on the other side? I don't think it has a purple thing. Oops. Well, that was totally how I intended that to go. Yeah, a little bit of a bonk there. Hey, Gabbro. Sup? Your flute sounds cool. A few loops ago, a cyclone came by and tossed my little island into space. Dying like that was kind of unpleasant. Oh my gosh, so many things. Um, I found something. I found what happened to Orbital Probe Cannon. Whoa, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop? For real? Did you figure out why? Too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slater Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised that Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, though, broke might be the wrong word because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each loop. Yeah, yeah, tell me more. Oh. 
Um, I found masks inside Ash Twin Project. You're saying the statues were made so memories could be sent back in time? I guess that makes sense considering we both have our memories of every loop we've gone through. Wait, then isn't just our memories being sent back in time to us, right? Then are we really ex experiencing multiple time loops or no? Oh, weird. It's pretty deep. Oh. We can't talk while this is happening, I guess. Oh, and are we already getting our song? We're already getting our song! I want to keep talking to you! Do we stay in space until the end? No. I think we're good? We're good. Um... Me oh, God. Experiencing time loops or not. That's pretty deep. Maybe our consciousnesses have been through all these loops, but maybe our bodies haven't, because technically the loops never happened. Meaning we're receiving memories of things that will never happen to us. Cool, huh? It's weird. Um... Anything else? I found the source of the time loop. Really? The Nomai carved out Ash Twin and brought in time loop device inside. That's wild. Now we know what's causing the loop then, and it's caused by a device that must mean it had to be switched on. Huh. What do you think would happen if you turned off the time loop? Like, there's a part of me thinks you shouldn't. What with the sun blowing up and all? Then again, who wants to spend eternity being blown up by the sun? I'm no time loop expert. I'm just going to sit here and ponder the intricacies of time and space. Maybe take a nap if I feel like it. Oh, I want to read more. Um... I think that's it for now. Yeah, I think we told him we found the statue island. Recording our memories because one at the beach looked at me funny. I think that's it. <sighs> Good thing we're so far out, yeah? Deep breaths, meditate. It'll be the next loop before you know it. So chill, Gabbro. Oh man. It's a really cool animation of him rising and falling back into the hammock. Yeah! We've seen it once before, at least. Um, so chill. <laughs> Secondidas, yeah, exactly. They weren't lying. We made it to Supernova. It's been a while. Do we think it's worthwhile? Okay, pause for a second. Do we think it's worthwhile to go back to the launch cannon? Maybe, could be interesting. We could also track down the thing in um, the Hanging City. We can do both. We could spend a loop for each. But if we're going to do Hanging City, we should go there first. Let's have a mallow. Excuse me. Let's have a mallow. <laughs> we did finish Friend Loop. Um, we didn't go see Esker, but I wasn't... I don't know if I was planning on seeing Esker. Because we've been to see Esker pretty recently, but we could go back and see Esker. Um, since finding Feldspar. I mean, all of them are worth talking to after finding Feldspar. But yeah, we went and saw Chert. We went and saw Rybeck. Demoted from friend? No! Alright, we'll go see Esker. Um, and then maybe we'll just go back to the canon. We'll, we'll finish out the friend loop. You're making me feel bad for not visiting. Feldspar's best friend now. Seeing chat on stream before as it shows up. It's, um, yeah, it is Pet Rock. It's the mod delay on Twitch. It sends it to me and the mods a little bit before, um, you see it. Special magic tricks, I know. Esker's more of, a, of an acquaintance. Three, two, one, blast off. Jen and mods are no my. Oh my gosh, it's part of the loop. You see it appear before it disappears 
from being typed by my fingers. I don't know. I don't know how best to describe that. I swear I saw the moon. Is it now behind me? Is it just on the other side? Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. That's a crater. There we go. I got very disoriented. Nope, nope, you. And here's the camp. Oh, I don't think we're close enough. Oh god, I hate how it turns you like that. Oh, we were. That was weird. Oh god. That was very strange. We're just like sideways in a crater. It's fine. I thought we were falling away from it and getting farther. So I went to do regular flying view again. And then we landed. Hi, Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Um... Yeah, there isn't an option with Esker that says I found something. One second delay from stream to chat. Yeah, some random errors with chat disconnecting. Twitch, please fix, yeah. Sprint hates me, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. ISP issues are never fun. Um... There's nothing else to talk to Esker about, but at least we ruled it out. They're living the zen life, yeah. The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Cher comes by to say hi, Gabro's Gabro, and you know Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go! Oh, I read this last time. Okay, Marl says hi. Thanks, Esker. Let's um turn on our light here. And then we're gonna go to... Oh god. We're gonna go to Giant's Deep, I guess. There's still time to go to Hanging City, too. Is it... Okay. Safe word. Is the hanging city thing worth it? Is it cool? <laughs> Cause it could be a time suck for us to hang out there for a long time looking for it. If I can't find it. No idea. Don't tell me what it is. Just if it's cool or not. Use your best judgment. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very indecisive right now. Depends on what you're missing. I have no idea what it is. Not particularly assuming I'm right about what it is. Okay. Yeah, is it worth investing the time? I don't I I don't think it's anything that cool. But it's just here, I can show you what we do have, and if that helps. Um a Nomai city suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. The city is divided vertically into four districts. I found a switch in the Meltwater District that raises and lowers the Black Forge, Black Hole Forge. The Nomai debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ash Twin project. There's more to explore here. Okay. Cool. We'll skip it then. Thanks, friends. I appreciate that. We're at the point of the stream where I'm like, I want to make everything time efficient we have cmc yeah also welcome in hello could be last mallow discovery yes perfect i love that thank you tt um three two one blast off but i gotta be kind of oh okay nope shoot 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 this is bad this is bad this is bad okay we're good now 
Uh, we're gonna go to... Wish I we should go back to the quantum moon too, but we're gonna go to Giant's Deep. Where are you at? I love that this is my method of finding things that we just kind of look around and then I get further and further away from stuff. Okay. It's worked before. I think everything. There we go. <laughs> Don't fall into the atmosphere because we need to explore the launch cannon. Here it comes. Can I lock onto it? Please, yes. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. And it has a little landing spot, which we like. Beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. Let's go hang out. Um, please don't... I, I'm not sure exactly if we're going outside of, like, uh, spoiler territory, but the, the safe word questions are usually just yes or no questions, and then we go from... we move on from there. So if it's not something I asked, or if it could be a spoiler of something I haven't seen, um, try to leave that for spoiler chat, or you can always ask a mod, too, if you're not sure. All right, this one is, which one? Nope, put that away. Ugh. Launch module, perfect. Oh, but this is the one we had to get into from the outside. Hmm. Okay, that's fine, we can still do that. I don't think it's worth it to see the control one, right? We've done this. Well, let's look at it. Why not? No new info. Okay. Okay, cool. I saw Sun Station and I got a little nervous, so I was like, I don't know what we're talking about. My bad. <laughs> Did it in the proper way. If I'd been where already? Oh, the forge? Could never find the portal to the forge, so you landed upside down on the gravity path? Oh my gosh, that's awesome, Pet Rock. The Black Hole Forge was so... Okay, fine. Um, was so difficult, because I tried to, like, parkour to it. And, you know, that didn't exactly go well. Um, and we knew for a little bit that there was a, a warp spot, but not really. I don't know, it took me a long time. Oh, the stream title, yeah, Toast. I know. Black Hole Forge took me a while to figure out the proper way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it's tricky. Where's the little, um, here? The little ball. Can you... Hello? There we go. There's, um, Ash Twin sending the data. Nine minutes, 37 seconds ago, cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory gravity field activated. Tried to land upside down forever and actually managed to, but I didn't know about lifting the forge. Oh yeah. Okay, there's the thing that we see every time. Randomly selected trajectory. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received, probe launch successful. 
Try to cheese my way until it clicked on the proper way. Nice. Um, probe tracking modules receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damaged multiple modules. So this isn't the one that tells us the number of launches. That must be the the launch module. Then I can't. I couldn't remember exactly which thing said what. It's cool looking. Damage report: several structures, uh, stress detected, assessing damage. Intact. Launch module viewport window fractured. Probe tracking is missing, which that's the one in the core that we got the coordinates from. Okay. Um, that wasn't what I was hoping for, but that's okay. It's, it's, oh God, easy enough to come back here, I guess. We want to go to the one that we have to go outside and park in a different spot. Well, we don't have to park in a different spot, but we do have to jetpack to a different spot. Um, which I might want some oxygen first before I do that. Or fuel. Hello, ship. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. Ta-da! Um, TG cheating at Outer Wilds yet again? Is that a thing? All right, let's blast off and be careful not to fall in, but then we gotta catch up with it again. Okay, fine, we got this. And then we gotta find the one with the broken glass again, which is this over here, I think. May or may not have found a couple clips. Oh my gosh. That one that we found, the staircase in um, Ember Twin that's broken is pretty funny. Why did it do that? Hello? What's happening? That was like the autopilot noise. Did I accidentally click on the autopilot? Oh, there, okay, there goes an island. It's fine. Don't think about it too hard. Just, uh, just fuel up and get out. This is probably better than last time because last time we parked like really oddly on top of that crack in the glass. Okay, I want the thing that flips me around. Does this one not have one of those? No, I just gotta go up there. But this floor doesn't work. Does any of this stuff work? I can't remember. No, I think this one's all broken. So maybe it is only the, the data one that tells you the numbers. Oh, there goes our ship. Bye. Um, well, rip. I'm looking for the one that gives you the 9 million whatever numbers. And I think that's the one in the core, and I don't want to go back there. Well, shoot. <laughs> oh, bye, ship. Hmm, what do we do now? Do we just reset? Do we try to fall onto Giant's Deep? Or catch like an island when one of the islands comes out into space? Sure, this seems safe. Oh, I don't have enough power to get through the atmosphere. 
gravity. Do your part. There we go. Oh, that was so strange. Okay, now the gravity kicks in. The strong gravity. Ultimate skydiving, yeah. Seriously. I don't know what we're doing here, but... Here we are. We could try to go to the core again. We have a, um... We have a probe, or a scout. If we wanted to figure out how to get to the core again. Oh. What? Look at that! Come back! Oh, right. Everything's a kilometer away. Everything's tiny in this game. I'm like, oh wow, it's so close. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's floating away. Yeah, hi ship, bye ship. See ya. This is where I would have parked you. Imagine going on a 5k run and landing on the moon, yeah. Exactly. It's so odd how small everything is. We're back on Statue Island. I wish that, um... I wish that the warp towers on Ash were charged, like, reverse charged. I don't think they charge until you use them from ash. But I could be wrong. We could just go stand on the warp receiver. I don't think it works that way. It's a receiver, not a... <laughs> Transmitter? Is there one of those safety things? Yeah, here's a safety thing. But the way to get inside is from underwater around the back of this island. In all fairness, people are used to driving distances longer than it takes to reach space if you could drive straight up, yeah. God, look at our ship just having the time of its life. Stay put. We can't see anything, but we're in space. That ship sure was made to fly. <laughs> Okay, we good? I wanted to try to go over there. Oops, shoot. I forgot how annoying this place is at times. How close is that? Hmm. I think we're good for a moment. To at least get to this one for a second. And reassess. this. It would be so cool if we could use this right now. I think we're just going to 
instead die on impact if this gets carried up into space. Bum 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 da na da na 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 You know you want to take me to Ash Twin. It's totally fine. The passage of time and the orbit of this planet are absolutely going to line up for this. It's totally fine. We are not getting our last music. Nope. Nope. It's not 60 seconds left. I want to go to Ash Twin. I should just hang out and look at this. We're totally 100% lined up right now. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Yeah, jammies. Jammies for the final song. I'm disappointed in this loop. We have to do another fish loop then. Or a sun station loop. I feel like the, uh, the reason I've been delaying sun station is because I'm hoping there's a clue on the vessel to tell us more about how to get to sun station. I don't love the fishies, no. <laughs> They're so stressful. We have made some progress today, which is very encouraging, but I just can't with those fishies. Thanks, Wooden. Swimming with Shamu, yeah. Ooh, that looks cool. Wow. Wow, it's so dark. We're blowing up! <laughs> Thanks for the sound clip. It reminds me of Owen Wilson. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I think Owen's a little breathier and a little quicker sometimes. Alright, what did we learn? We talked to our friends. We went back to the cannon. Um, the cannon is 100% firing in a different direction every time, which is so cool. Um, we lost our ship. And it's time to eat a mallow. I guess we go hang out with the fish. <sighs> okay. Three, two, one, blast off. Especially with the quantum moon, it's wild how much they show you that first blink, yeah. That was cool. Okay, um, there we go. Everything's fine. What else? What else? What else? 
we need to figure out more stuff about the sixth location, too. Um, that we still don't fully understand, right? We have some coordinates, uh, but we don't know where to use them yet. Cause that would be that would be kind of cool. Um, we we talked to Solanum for quite a while. We read all the little tablets, and then we just kind of left. We're like, all right, sweet, thanks for the visit. I feel like there's some un un open ended things, but at the same time, there's not anything in our log. But that doesn't mean there's not anything left. We know where it is, but we don't know where it is. Yeah, exactly. And we learned how the bramble grew basically from inside of a fish and burst open this ice planet that used to be here, which used to have jellyfish on it. And now there's little bits of bramble in other places too. The seeds, they, gr they start small and they grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's weird. Okay, so we're going to the one on top. Not this again. They always ask, where is the sixth location, but never ask, how is the sixth location? Oh man. Poor sixth location. Okay. And then it's over here. Ish. Right here. Oh, man. Nice. Scoot on out of there. Let's go. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know. What happened last time? We we were just too close. Oh yeah, we didn't like line up a good path. Oops, what was that? That's what all the training's been for. Oh god. I hate it. inching forward. The tiniest movements ever. Okay, here's a switch over. <sighs> We're fine now. We're safe at the moment. Ooh, is our headlight on? It was. Good to know. Uh, buy ship. Well, there goes our ship. We gotta get to the red one. Oh, I hate it so much! Okay, let's go behind them, right? But we gotta set ourselves up and then, like, float. You know what I mean? Carl, how's it going? Uh... That's a- <laughs> the alert's messed up. 
Thank you for gifting a sub to the community. To Pet Rock. Pet Rock, enjoy your Earth Badger emotes, your ad free viewing, courtesy of Carl. I appreciate it. Happy Monday. Oh, we're gonna touch it, maybe? Maybe jump scare noises coming. Just a warning. There are loud noises in this game. I think we're just gonna float a little further away from that thing. See, look, the scout. Oh, you can't see it. The The distance from the scout, the number is right behind us. It's getting smaller. Oh, God. Pushed a button and I didn't mean to. Cool, cool. This is terrifying. Contributing to a rock instead of a human. That's fair. I don't discriminate. <laughs> number, hello, welcome in. You're getting smaller. Yeah, the number is getting smaller. <laughs> okay, we went to the red thing before. So now we need to go to the scout. I'm scared. Should we just aim straight there? and kind of do a boost and then stop. I don't hear him anymore, so I don't know how far away we are from the next batch. There's the weird looking egg things. We're gonna go past those. We just, we have to be mindful of our oxygen too. Maybe this is taking us to that other seed. Oh, I think it is taking us to that other seed. Chat's gotta stay quiet or the fish will hear us. Oh, I see a light. I got. I can't move. You know, um... Oh, I'm afraid to talk. I feel like I should whisper. Whew. We're going so slow. <laughs> you know how phasmophobia listens to your mic this game doesn't do that does it you'll whisper too okay i certainly hope not i didn't think so because i've been just talking at our normal voice pretty much every stream i'm at work on this fine monday just stopping by and making contribution to human eh, rock society <laughs> Thanks, Carl. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day at work. Okay, I think this is new, maybe? We haven't been to this bramble yet? So maybe this is the vessel one? Ooh. Ooh, it's certainly bright. Oh my god. I don't see any fishies. This is looking promising. Should we just like go, go because of oxygen concerns? Lots of spikes. This is it. Finally. Drinking boba and my maybe making too much noise. Oh my gosh. God, it took us so long to get yay. here. Thanks for the yay. We've got three minutes. I hope there's oxygen on board. This is cool looking. Up close, it's massive. Oh, and we get awesome music. Awesome Yay. know my music. Oh, dang. I don't think we're gonna get oxygen. Is there something to read? Yay. So many yays. Thank you, thank you. Oh, what's that? Okay, there's bones. It almost looks like writing on the wall here. Oh, hopefully there'll be oxygen in this way. Oh, <gasps> so many bones. Ooh. Can turn my thing back on. Whoa. Okay, let's go this way. But we don't have much time. Oh, this looks like a warp core spot. Oh, trees. Yes. <laughs> I was hoping. This looks like the thing that has the warp core in, um... In, 
in in Ash Twin. I look away for 30 seconds and you find it. We did it. Okay, but there's a bunch of buttons to press. And there's a cool thing on the ground. And 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 more stuff to look at. Up here and stuff to read and stuff to read. We want to read. Okay. Oh, come on. To any know my clans whose vessels can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that black rock suns are fairly stable, and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you'll be on your own. Uh, Kana, we're making our way to you. This is a long one. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived and he hasn't seen any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of Eskal. Oh, there's so much to read right now. All the lore. Uh, I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clan searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their mes missing friends had warped out of existence. Hmm. Llama, how's it going? Welcome in. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told the story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hisop? It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors... Searched for Eskal's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Hyssop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you again soon, Kana. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. Ah, <gasps> this is so interesting. Okay, okay. Let's go read the other one. We don't have infinite time. Ooh, it looks like... Okay. This is Eskel's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Um, our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from inside itself. Weird. We, we are abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or space-like capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Oh, oh God. I tried to roll and I rolled the wrong way. Nope, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Should we mess with this stuff? What does this say? Does it have a label on it? Oh, we don't have infinite fuel. As I continue to use a bunch of fuel. Is this a gravity thing? No. I don't know what that does. Maybe nothing. Maybe it's all broken. Oh, Jen, please. The zero-G jetpacking with no fuel is really, um, special. Okay, did this- can we mess with this at all? No? Okay. Does this give me gravity? <laughs> oh! Oh! It's a thing! Oh! Wait, are we gonna... Okay. 
Where's my notes? Let's do this. I'm glad I wrote this down. We were looking, this looks vaguely like the one from, it's something that we can input stuff in, right? Well, I don't know yet. Let's find out. Let's look at this. I feel like this is epically important. Can we bring this up here? We can. Oh, this is going to be hard though. <laughs> Please. What shape? What shape? Uh, here? Oh, do you do them all in a row? Oh no, this is like the ultimate puzzle. That was wrong, I think. Oh, weird. Do you just do one at a time? How do I reset? Okay. How do we do this one? I gotta pause. Unable to pinpoint location. Oh, I can't look at my map from here. Interesting. Let's try doing one at a time. Let's do this. Maybe this is how it looks. Oh, that just makes a straight line. I'm sorry. I'm doing it wrong. I don't know what to do. We're going to have to come back here again. All right, let's try that. Don't go back over them. Don't go over any others. Oh my God, the freaking jetpack. I hate it. Ugh, sorry. This is just a lot right now and I don't think we're gonna do it right. And then this one is a squiggly. We're back to I hate the jetpack when I'm trying to do stuff. Yeah. When it's time sensitive too. And then over and then down through the center. And then up and then over. And then and then we'll see if we did it right. I don't think so. Oh, but we don't have a warp core. We gotta bring the warp core here. Did that reset them all? Or did we just do it wrong? This one's wrong. I just can't figure out why. Why can my brain not form good lines? It just looks funky. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, okay, okay. I, I know what I did. But I don't think we can do anything. There's no power. But look, it looks like we're supposed to bring the warp core here instead. But we can't. Okay, we can get to the, oh, it's so time sensitive. Is the end of the game super time sensitive and I'm gonna hate it because of how stressful it is? Because you can't get into Ash Twin Core until a certain point when the sand is gone. <sighs> Don't answer that. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to push that button. But we're out of fuel. Okay, this will reset it, I think. No? You want to reset? I gotta fix one of these. Come back here. Oh, oh god, oh. Please, jetpack, please. I want to just stand still. Why can I not stand on the ground? I got legs. game is too hard. Mm. 
I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Come on, please. Oh, Freaking. Just stand up. <laughs> it's fine. You can totally stand when there's no gravity. Go. I still don't think anything's gonna happen, but it was fun while it lasted. <sighs> Good practice. What's down here? Oh, hi. Probably should have come down here instead. I wanna read you and then I wanna interact with that thing. God. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. Please stop moving. I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone prepare to warp immediately. Esco, wait, I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. We can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Anona, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal's uh, source. Everyone ready to warp. Just jump right in. Pretty. At least there's an oxygen source so that we can just keep getting fuel from that, but still annoying. That one made you laugh a bit. Oh my god, I'm tilted by the stupid jetpack in this room. Uh. I just want the lore. QWERTY, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't have time for flight controls jokes. I don't know what this is. Or what this is. Other than this is where it looks like the core goes. Can I pick this up? Yeah, I can. But it's broken. There's nothing in it. Mom, welcome in. How's it going? Flight control jokes don't seem to get the gravity of the situation. Oh, I feel like there's more to do in here too. We're gonna have to come back anyways. This is really cool. We still don't know anything about the sun station, but I'm okay with that. What else is in here? Oops. Bonk. Oh god. I'm sorry, no my bones. Oh, nothing else is in here. Three minutes oxygen. Well, that's more than 60 seconds. I wonder if the supernova reaches us here or we get the other weird purple death. Sounds like it's going to. Because we're sort of kind of in Bramble. Oh, we used way more than our oxygen because I was spinning around, but that's okay. We've got a lot of log to review, yeah. Roadhouse, welcome in. How's it going? If I move, we'll run out of oxygen. 
We already know the supernova's coming. I would rather the supernova death, because then we don't get the gasping for air. <sighs> stressful. I don't like how stressful this is. I don't like time sensitive. We're gonna do our best. Big gasp avoided, yeah. I still don't know how to get to the sun station. I still don't know if there was other stuff for us to read in there. Um. I'm guessing there may have been more stuff for us to read. So now we know... Well, we don't know anything. But it's interesting that I didn't want to take the core and then just die with the core which made sense right i still feel like that's probably like an easter egg game over but don't confirm that but that's really cool i just that that the vessel has no power so we don't know what any of the gadgets do yet very interesting okay let's go eat a mallow <laughs> We're at four hours of stream. We still got time. We still got time. Exciting things are happening. I feel like we've conquered the fish today, and I'm proud of that. Not gracefully, but we snuck past them. Mallow? Thank you for the hydrate, Boba. I appreciate it. Give me one second here. I've got regular water as well as seltzer. Okay, we've got lots of log to read. Let's do some reading. The vessel. Whew. There's so much happening. I found the derelict um, know my vessel deep within Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. The Nomai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal the Nomai encountered from the eye of the universe. The Nomai were worried the signal might disappear, so they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going. Interesting. I want to go meet the other Nomai clans. Oh no, semi-cortex. <laughs> the lore got smooshed together. It doesn't say that there's more to do here, but like... <laughs> I think maybe there's more to do there. I don't think we can... Hmm. I don't think we can do what I want to do. It would be really cool. I don't think that's gonna work. That was so stressful. Yeah, and hands, I know, lots of zooming in and out. Okay, what should we do now? <laughs> Clearly nothing cool happened that loop. Let's read it again. I should have taken more notes when we were in there. I was too stressed. Oops. Uh, I activated three-sided pillar, da-da-da. 
see a big question mark. Yeah, the um, the sun station. It eludes us forever. I'm never going there. I hate it. Oh, Llama, thank you for redeeming cat ca cat cameo. This is a perfect time to take a cat cameo break. Um, I will go see which of the cats, if not both of them, wants to say hi. Let me set this up for you all. Thank you, Llama. I've got some music, too. Maybe? Music, please. There we go. <laughs> If I shake the treat bag, they'll both come in here. Cats, I want the treat. Oh, they became sprinting. There they are. You guys ready? I'm gonna give them their treats first and then I can show them off to the camera. Hey, hey bub. You want these? There you go. Good kitties. Good kitties. All right, here's BB. Looking as fluffy as ever. Dungan's off getting into mischief. Yeah, they're space cats now. What you looking at? Huh? You want more treats? Yeah. Such fluff. Her whiskers are looking so nice. For a while, her eyebrow whiskers weren't growing in, and now they're nice and long. Mom the human says hi. What are you thinking about? Oh, are you purring? Yeah, always. What a baby, yeah. This is Beatrix, also known as BB. Let me get Duncan. Duncan, where'd you go? behind the curtain I have this like curtain behind my stream setup Ugh. or in front of it or however that works here's Duncan Did you have a good nap today several naps big kitties are the best yeah <laughs> Good job, you're looking right at the camera there. They're both sweet chunks, yeah. Ooh, that's just the air conditioning, you're okay. It's a little noisy, but you're okay. Thank you for that, uh, for that cat cameo. Okay, he's ready to go, I'll be right back. See you later, bye-bye. They might meow at the door, so if they do, I will, um, I don't know, placate them with more treats. <laughs> that was fun. Such attention, yeah. Oh, the thing happened where it paused the music. That's okay, we're ready to go back to the game. Um, sun station. Sun station. Is this the type of thing? Is this the type of thing where I'm gonna need a hint? Don't give a hint. Yay. But do we think it's the type of thing that we're gonna need a hint for? I don't know. Wolf, thank you for the yay. <laughs> don't throw your back out picking him up. Magus, please. I, we haven't had, he has his annual checkup. Duncan has his coming up pretty soon. We'll get him weighed again. Sunny Station is the lead singer of you too, right? Mm hmm, mm hmm. That checks out. Aw, oh, thanks, Ta. <laughs> uh, what do we know about Sun Station, though? We know that there's a warp tower. We know that there's 
a safe way to get there. We've seen Sun Station. We can look at it. They debated building Sun Station in order to power Ash Twin Project. The Nomai opposed its construction. Okay. Okay. <sighs> There's how we knew how to get to the vessel. We've been there now. It's super cool. And the escape pod we've been to. Ash Twin Project. What does this say about Sun Station? Anything? Yeah, it was designed to use energy from a supernova triggered by the Sun Station to send probe data from the orbital probe 22 minutes into the past. It didn't work. Okay. I feel like I should leave the music running for this part. Alignment angles. Okay. Mines, testing site, seal off the central chamber, samples were sent to the volcano, supernova proof shell, K. This is stuff from Giant's Deep. There's the jellyfish. There's the other jellyfish. Does this say anything about the sun station? No. What if we go back and tell Solanum what we saw? Would they think that was super cool? There's our coordinates. The 9,318,054th probe located a deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. The probe tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Ash Twin project. I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. Okay. Ash Twin Tower Designs. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twin's equator. Each tower warps to a different planet, although many Nomai were quick to note the sun is not a planet. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. Meehan, hi, welcome in. It's good to see you. Uh, the Nomai successfully reproduced the temporal anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station. The Nomai discovered they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to warp cores. Okay. <laughs> The Nomai wanted to know if a 22-minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy, as well as an advanced warp core to handle the energies. I don't know! 
go back and hang out with Solanum. Because we don't know how any of this ties into anything. Yet. Sort of, kind of. But it's interesting because Solotum's really young comparatively, right? And they were all trying to get back to the sixth location, which is what they originally followed to get to this solar system. I don't know, let's just go find Solanum again. I don't- I- I don't know what else to do, so we're gonna do something fun. <laughs> um... Yeah. Three, two, one, blast off! There it is! No, don't go away! Stay right there! Perfect! Beautiful! Let me take a picture of you, don't be shy! Oop, except we're not fully out in space. Let's maybe get into space. Okay. Oof, 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 oof. No, 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 no. Jen, please. It's not how orbits work. Ugh, God. It's gone. Rip. Well, we didn't crash. Clumsy. Um. Does it stay because I have this picture still? I guess so. I don't know. This thing is just absolutely wild. And in we go! Oh, oh, let's not land on top of Solanum's other body this time. Okay, fine. Let's land here. I think we're good. Maybe not. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh wait, what is it that I do normally? We have to pull it up like this, right? Yeah. This is just precautionary. Welcome back to the strangest of moons, yeah. Okay. Where are we? South Pole. And we figured out we had to hop between these fireflies? There's the shuttle. We had to hop between a few different shrines to get where we were trying to go. Uh, I think we can put away this picture now. I think the one that ended up helping us, well, I think it just depends what order you go in. Giant's Deep was helpful, because that one had fewer obstacles, but I really think it just depends. Um, we, could, we could do Bramble. Let's do Bramble and walk further north, because I think we should be able to get pretty far. We get at least past the equator, and some of the moon layouts... Um, you can't even get past the equator. Well, that's not a shrine. That is. Okay. Let's try for... Have we seen the Brittle Hollow one? Let's see what this looks like. Are we inside of a rock? No. But we can't get any further. Okay. 
I think we're trying for Giant's Deep. Hmm, maybe not. Can we get even closer now? So loud. Maybe we can't get any closer than that from here. Hmm. Would halfway expect Brittle Hollows to be a giant black hole? Seriously, yeah. Completely unstable. Maybe Ash then. Or what does this one look like closer to the North Pole? Oh, interesting. That was, what is this, a geyser? Oh, cool. Oh man, come back. Thank you. <sighs> okay, but we can't get out yet. I think we want ash. Okay, let's try this. Yeah. Nice. Or hourglass, whatever this one's called. What happens if you take the sand pillar up? I don't know. Probably not good things. Oh, is that it right there? It was maybe and now it's gone. So weird. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Oops, it wasn't completely closed yet. What a silly... Maybe it has to do with how long I turn out the light for. I don't know if that's true. Okay, and then we can see... Couldn't we see some... Th oh, the tower's in the way. We can see the reflection of it up there. Here. Have a, ooh, have a scout. Can I, uh, oops. Can I zoom in on you? Yeah, it's cool looking. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. I'm not looking for tips. I'm not looking for any hints or help. I'm not asking you to tell me things I missed. Uh, please just sit back and enjoy watching somebody play this for the first time. Thank you. Thanks, TT. Okay, hi Salon, and we're back. I know who you are. You're gonna give me these cool little things to talk to you with. Um, explain. Oop, thank you, thank you, thank you. Explain me, and then maybe it'll- I, I don't know. I don't think this will do anything. Hmm. 
Hmm. We did all these combinations before. I don't think I can share new stuff with you. Can I put this... Can I launch this upwards? We jumped up here before and it was, um... Intense. I forgot we did do the scout thing before too and it does the emergency recall. I don't know that there's anything else to do here. I mean, let's keep talking. Let's keep exploring some of these things. Why are you not quantum? Why do you stay in the same spot this whole time? Let's do... But it's not like I can share new information. I can just learn new stuff from Solanum. Identify... What if I do both of the oranges? Did we do that? Does it explain how to use the stones? <laughs> More rocks, please. Yeah. These are two tenets of know my philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. That's cool. Um. Oh, wait. I wanted to explain. Explain... I don't know, the eye. We did these, though. <sighs> Fundamental uncertainty, uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally this uncertainty is only observable in a small scale, blah blah blah. The quantum moon exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Yep. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Is there anything up on these rocks? I'm afraid to jump too high. We'll get sucked up into the storm. I don't know. Last time we were here, we jumped into it. I don't know if we can get back to our ship at this point. Probably. Our ship is now quantum on Timber Hearth Quantum Moon, I think. Do you think we can bring our ship with us and go through there? I just don't think we can go through there. And if we jump up into the eye, the reflection one, I think we're just going to bounce off of it. Alright, well this is a repeat journey. Solanum, you rule. Oh, and it sends us back to our ship then. Ish. Yeah, we confirmed that nothing changed since we had found the um, vessel, which is what I was trying to confirm. But how is Solanum both there and here at the same time? And why are there fireflies? I don't know that we've gone into the vessel when we were on here. I wonder if... Hang on. Does this disappear if I jump up in it? I'm kind of scared that we'll have to put our, our device away. Oh, but it's observing it, so it's fine. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. It's still there. Unable to pinpoint location. 
So if we were to snap back to this one is the one on Brittle Hollow, we would go back to the gravity cannon if the gravity cannon's still intact. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. That just, uh, that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is and we are. I am ready. Salon, I'm so cool. Um... Yeah. I don't know where our ship is. That was a cool noise. All right, now what do we do? Just keep spinning around until we get the shuttle back, I guess, because that's our only exit, it looks like. Fireflies. Yeah, lightning bugs. Mm-hmm. really avoiding us now. That's probably why. Hmm, settling into some ice cream. Nice, what kind? Alright, let's go back, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to hang out here anymore. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. It looks like the gravity cannon is still intact. Maybe not for long. We could get to um, White Hole Station, our favorite. Oh, yep, we're going anyway, because I didn't boost soon enough. It's fine. Ben and Jerry's brownie battered. Nice, that sounds so good. First time I used gravity cannon, it killed me immediately. Oh no, we had that too, Pet Rock. It killed me one of the times and I wasn't really sure why. Miss Fireflies from where I used to live. I do really like fireflies. We don't have a lot of them here. My grandparents' house when I was little had a bunch of them and I just thought it was the coolest thing. Oh, our ship is out there somewhere. Our ship is... Off the map? 92 kilometers. It's close by. It's not too far away. Fireflies versus lightning bugs is strongly regional. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Roughly sp split 50-50 landmass wise. That's cool. Those are always fun to talk about, right? Um, sneakers, tennis shoes, gym shoes. A buggy versus a shopping cart. Drinking fountain, water fountain, and bubbler. Those are always so fun to compare. Don't really have fireflies. Never seen one. Oh, they're real cool, llama. Bubbla, yeah, yeah, soda versus pop versus coke, exactly. Come 
What's the best way to get to Ryback from here? Oh, look at the sun. Oh, we don't have much time left anyways. We've ended a lot of loops on the, the white hole station as well, just because it's like, eh, I don't feel like going back just to either fall into the black hole again or supernova. But it would be nice to go hang out with Ryback. Oh, there's the gravity cannon. It's where we were trying to get back to. I feel like all this is gonna break off soon. I hear noises! Managed to live in Coke County and Bubbler Country, neither understood each other about those, yeah. Remember in college, I would confuse friends by saying I was looking for a bubbler, mm-hmm. Definitely throws people off. Oop. Oh. That was fun. The ground did a really interesting effect there below us. As I said, we're just gonna go back into the black hole anyways. Or bonk our head on something else that's going into the black hole. Ooh, we can get out of it, maybe. Take me to Ryback! Ooh, go into the thing! Yes! Nice. The power of Ryback. Whew. Saved it. Remember, uh, the New York Times had a quiz. Yeah, that one, um, I've taken that toast and it did okay. I've lived too many different places. I have a bunch of weird language things I picked up, but I think when I tried to stick to like my childhood, you know, what I remember saying when I grew up, it was, it was pretty good, yeah. Advanced jetpacking skills. We got it. We did the slingshot. I've never been able to do the slingshot before. Did the quiz. Thought I was from California instead of Washington. They're basically the same. Some of it it has a hard time pinpointing. Because it's one of those zones that's just, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Oh yeah, let's have a mallow. <laughs> it burnt. Okay, so we went to the quantum moon. We didn't go to Sun Station. We didn't learn anything new about Sun Station. Lived too many places and didn't pick up any of the weirdest phrases. Our Boston Cream Donuts still called that in other parts of the country. Mm hmm. Extra toasted mallow, yeah. We're at four hours, 30 minutes. Should we go back to the vessel then? Maybe we should just go back to the vessel. I want to go to the sun station. I don't understand. <sighs> Got toasted by the Nova, yeah. Majority of my trips outside of Washington have been to California and I've lived there for a summer. Nice. California is one of the places I've lived. Central Coast. I don't know how much speech stuff I picked up. Probably not any. Quantum Moon is taunting us. Now we can actually eat the mallow that we set on fire. When we were hanging with Ryback. Man. I'm really stumped on this one. Let's go look at the ship's log again.
It doesn't tell us anything. Ugh. We read so much stuff last loop before I decided what I wanted to do and none of it was helpful. We read this. We read this. We read this too. Oops. We read this. We know about the locator. We know about the caves. We know about the cannon. We know about the lake bed cave. It's really cool. Towers form ring around Ashwin's equator. Whitehole station was used as a model. And we've been inside the core. This is not, I, I don't have, I don't even have a train of thought to tell you. I wish I had like, oh, maybe this, but I have nothing right now. I feel bad just sitting here in silence. Village, Zero G Cave. Bramble Seed. Quantum Grove. You go read the quantum poem again. Where did I write it down? Across Old Bark, it's always dark. The quiet shade in ancient glade. Meh. Um. The mines. Oops. Addle Rock. Eye signal locator. Lunar lookout. We went back to the eye signal locator too. I think even after we got the coordinates and it just didn't, it didn't spark, it did not spark joy. Quantum knowledge, quantum shard. We decided to wait on the thing in the hanging city. We've talked to Ryback a bunch. We checked back in with Ryback since we got our new, um, our new discoveries about the vessel and about Solanum. Oh, have we been back to talk to Rybeck since the vessel? Or just Solanum? I think just Solanum because we said we saw a living Nomai. But we were just there and we didn't talk to him. We probably should have talked to them. Give me a th city 30 minutes north of my hometown. Oh my gosh. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> Probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be small. No, I believe the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Tornado simulation. Yep. Black Hole Forge. Yep. Yep. The Old Settlement. Murals. Gravity Cannon. Growing up in a few locations. Yeah, it throw thi throws things off a bit. Mm -hmm. It did for me too. All right, what's something else we can do? <laughs> I'm at a loss. This is all still black and white. Do any of these change colors? 
No. <laughs> Opening every entry. Every single entry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I meant Roadhouse like something else besides Sun Station because I do not know how to get there. And I have no other desires. Who can we go hang out with? Let's go hang out with that kid that's throwing rocks at the ghost matter. We did do a YOLO flight to Sun Station Magus. We did. It didn't go well. We, we did pretty good with it. Like, we were hovering just outside of where the sun would, like, really pull us in. And then it pulled us in. Also, the sun station moves so fast. It zooms around. It was a valiant attempt. I had to at least once. What's up, kid? Quit throwing rocks. Hey, astronaut. Need more Kerbal Space uh, program practice, yeah. I think that must be it. You know the patch of ghost matter inside the fence? Gossen said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling because ghost matter evaporates. Takes a super long time to go away. Hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome! It'll burn the heck out of you! Touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk in any space, okay? Sounds bad and pain- bad and painful. That was weird. Wow. Beautiful. I didn't know this went all the way around in a circle. It's cool. Oh, you can see the hourglass twins. Can you see the interloper with this? Click, 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 click. I can't look at my map while we're using the camera. Anyways. What's this? Waterfall. Where does it go? I don't know. I think down to that place where that guy who's friends with Gabbro is. Need to take off, have a long day tomorrow, enjoy the rest of the stream. Thanks, Wooden. Take care. Good luck with your day tomorrow. And we will see you around. We'll be... It's looking like back with more, more Outer Wilds on Wednesday. We're stumped. I'm gonna go down these rocks. 
Mewtwo, how's it going? Welcome in. Thanks for the hello. Just knocked my hand against the desk trying to trying to wave. <laughs> oh, isn't this one of our achievements too? Not great with this thing, as you all remember. started spinning. How do we reset? Like that. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
<laughs> you were always my least favorite astronaut. That's cute. Bonin, have a good night. Thanks for hanging with us. Yeah, I don't know. We might just wrap stream. I'm not having any epiphanies. I don't really know what else to do here. Wee! Wee! Oop! Smack. Too much wee! I think the things that we have left to do then are getting our other Easter egg ending. We could wrap up with that. Because I'm assuming if you remove the warp core and the time and the 22 minute timer runs out, it's like game over. I'm assuming. Don't answer that. But we could try that as an experiment for our last thing of stream. We're right. We're just before um, five hours. Or we could open up with another meme ending next time. It really, d you know, the world is our oyster. It really does not matter. We could do any of these. And it will still be very fun. Hmm. I want to know how, um, what the sun station looks like immediately after waking up. I am curious about that. I don't think we did anything of value on this loop, so we can just reset really quick and do that. Oops. Is it just quit, right? Yeah, reset loop and quit out. So maybe we'll start. Is it, I'm wondering if it's another kazoo ending. Today was so funny that we started out with that kazoo ending. And then if I don't come up with anything... Uh, oh, it's not letting me view the map until I get my spacesuit on, okay? Um... If I don't come up with anything before Wednesday's stream, then I'll probably need a hint from uh, TT or one of our trusted community members here who's played this. Yeah, that's what it looks like right at the start. Just as close and terrifying as ever. Uh, did you miss a thing? Did something happen? Thank you for those reminders, um, semi-cortex. We didn't, I mean, you didn't miss anything in game. We just hung out in, uh, Timber Hearth for a while. Oh, I said TT because I might need a hint <laughs> next stream if I can't think of anything for Sun Station. There it is. We can look at it with the signal scope zoom again too if we want. But... I don't know. I don't know. It's got the receiver right there on it. <sighs> All right. Cool. That was super entertaining for the last bit there. I don't know. I'm trying to ponder and something's going to click into place, but it's just not. It's just not.
Um, we will be back Wednesday, same time, 3.30 p.m. Eastern. We will be playing more Outer Wilds, if I'm not too frustrated. Um, we can at least get one of the other endings, I think, and then, um, go from there. 